changes our notions. It sets our affections on things which are above. And the smoking, drinking, gambling, the things that you used to do is dead. It's beneath you. And you are quickened. And this quickening power brings your body into a raptured condition. Already. Notice the Pentecostal people up there. When they got quickened by the Holy Spirit, listen to me. When those Pentecostal group up there on the day of Pentecost receive their abstract deed from God, sure it glorified their souls. They screamed. They saw tongues of fire separated up on each of them. And it so quickened their body till they couldn't even speak in an earthly language anymore. It quickened their body to a heavenly language. The place they're going to. Quickening power of God shook their mortal body so till their entire mortal language was transfigured, transformed into an immortal language. What a quickening power. What something it belongs. If the Spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in your mortal bodies, it shall also quicken your mortal bodies. We are quickened then by the power of the living God. Tongues quickened to a new heavenly language to speak to them. A rapturing up, raising up into a different atmosphere than what they'd ever lived in. Also with the new quickening life to them that come in them, it quickened their language. They spoke in new tongues. Oh yes. Now watch it. Um, it also was designed to give them, as this abstract, it was designed to give them every promise that was on the grounds, every promise on the grounds of God's Word that was promised in the Bible, that quickening power was given to them to quicken that promise to them. Therefore, they laid hands on the sick. They were healed. They spoke in new tongues. They done great signs and wonders because that was in God's promise. And when Jesus died to redeem that back to them, the grounds that belonged to sons of God, He demonstrated what God was. How dare we to socialize that and put it into an organization? We have no rights to do that. It's the Holy Spirit today hunting out honest hearts that will believe that message. Everything in the Bible that was promised is to that believer. And when you accept it in its fullness and God knows that you'll do it, He gives you the abstract to that. And then every promise that's made is in your possession and the Holy Spirit's there to quicken that to you. Thank you. Oh my. What, what kind of people should we be? How wonderful to see that God's great Holy Spirit here to do that power. Think of it. When the Holy Ghost itself, here to bear record of this hour, Amen. Jesus said so. Amen. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. How dare any man to wipe that out of there? The works that I do shall you do also. John That's 14, 12. Amen. These signs shall follow them that believe. That is the assurance. When we see a group of people sitting together and those signs manifesting themselves, that's the assurance that the abstract is there to vindicate that that's property of God. Amen. 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 So we are Easter also. Amen. Amen. We are now in our Easter. We've already raised, hallelujah, from the things of the world to the things of God's promise. Amen. Not we will, we are. It's the potentials, it's God's promise. He'd pour out His Spirit in the last days. And that's what they would do. Notice. Laid their hands on the sick. Everything was in God's promise. I shall pour out my Spirit in the last days. Upon all flesh. Your old man shall dream dreams. Your young man shall see visions. And all these different promises that He made. Everything's laying right there in God's promise. Jesus redeemed it to us. And when we become... Or we, if we are ordained on that ground... If we are ordained to be on that ground, like the eagle walking in the chicken's nest, Amen. if you're ordained on that ground, the Holy Spirit is sure to find you. Amen. And when it finds you, you recognize this call. 
You know the hour you're living? Amen. You know what these things are supposed to happen? Quickly you're raptured up to meet it. And now you're sitting in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. Oh, what a promise. What a heavenly Father who would give us these things. The Spirit quickens their fellowship with God so that they call the dead back to life in that day. They laid their bodies up on the dead. They come to life. Listen closely. They done the same things that Jesus did because the same Spirit was up on Him, was up on them. If one Spirit makes a man act this way, it makes the other one act that way. If one, How can this come up on and say He's got the Spirit of God and deny the works of God? Amen. Cannot do it. Notice, God's life, which is in the Greek called Zoe, moving through them and in them, quicken their minds to His Word. Now, let me say it real quietly. The Spirit of God that moves among the people quickens the mind of the person to the promise of God. See, it does it. Look, I'm trying to show you the, the, and let you realize that I'm speaking now of the church and also quicken to life in Him. Although... Uh, they only, uh, or was his attributes to begin with. But if God said in this day, back in the beginning, John Doe will be my servant. Millions of years ago. Now John Doe's born in sin, shaped in iniquity, comes to the world speaking lies because he's a mortal. But maybe he gets a little religious feeling, he'll go join a church. Maybe he'll join Pentecostal church. Don't know he might join anything. But let him get under the atmosphere of God once. See? John Doe is bound to recognize who his father is. Amen. Just as that eagle recognized who the mother was. Amen. It's got to realize it, see? Only that John Doe is God's attribute that's become a word spoken. And then the Holy Spirit seeks that word out. Here it is. He calls him. Gives him everlasting life and brings him into the presence of God, God's Word. Look, God had the same when He saw Jesus. It was a, it was a finished work that God finished with Jesus when He said, It's finished. All the plan was finished. And when the Spirit of God comes upon you and you truly are one of God's attributes that He's spoken of, now if you're not, you'll wonder and flusterate and run here and there and Everything else will never come to the knowledge of the truth. If you are one of those, the old things pass away right quick, see? And you become new and the plan of salvation is finished. You're ready to obey every word that God ever spoke of it, see, for you to do. You're submissive to His word. The contract, exactly. The abstract to the contract. The title deed belongs to you. The debts are all paid. It's all struck off. And as it was at the day of Pentecost. Now, let us notice the quickening, this quickening spirit on other people. Now, I told you I wouldn't speak very long. And I just got 20 minutes to keep my word if I do that. Notice, to keep it one time I said about, about an hour. Notice. Now, this quickening power that only comes... Now, there's a lot of mockery of it. There's a lot of people that really think they got it when they haven't. A lot of people do it because they have got some false impression of what they've seen other Christians do. Satan can impersonate any of that. We know that as missionaries, you can see it impersonated, shouting, dancing, speaking in tongues, all these things, you can see it impersonated anywhere. Amen. Absolutely amongst heathens and people who deny there is a... Such a thing as Jesus Christ being the Son of God, see? And they do all those things themselves. But the real, true, quickening spirit that comes to the believer quickens him to God's Word. That's back to eagle food again. Right back to where he lives. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Let us now notice this quickening spirit as it come up on other people like it did on, on the day of Pentecost. Let's notice, Pentecost, how they acted and see if they were quickened by this quickening power that we're talking about. On the day of Pentecost, they were all waiting up there. In themselves, they were afraid. 
the Jews this, what they were going to do, so they got scared. But what happened? When this quickening power fell from heaven, there was a bravery set up on them. Amen. There was something, an understanding, where they wasn't too sure of it a few hours before. They know he had, he had died. They know he had risen. They I talked to him on the way. But was that thing for them or was it just for them, to, uh, for Jesus himself? But here on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit, the abstract, fell upon the believers that made them part of his resurrection. Amen. Made him part of his fellowship. The Holy Spirit came and confirmed to them that they would be raised up because they were potentially raised then Amen. from cowards to brave men. They were, they were afraid of the very word that they thought. Don't let this pass over you. They were afraid. They know that He was that word. Even the Jews had to admit it. Nicodemus said, Rabbi, we know that you're a a uh, teacher that come from God. No man could do the things you do except God be with him. Now we know that. We recognize that. So the disciples, Peter had even sworn in his presence. All of them had forsaken him at the crucifixion. But here they are now up in this upper room. In the presence of God. Then all of a sudden, here come this Holy Spirit down from heaven. And it quickened them. And the quickening took place... They wasn't afraid to make a witness of the message that they believed and know to be the truth. Amen. Otherwise, they were afraid of it. Amen. How many Presbyterians, how many Methodists, how many Baptists in the world today, how many Pentecostals that knows the truth Amen. and are afraid to make a stand on it? Amen. I'm persuaded to wonder what was that fell on you? Amen. Are you a part of His resurrection? Would you dare scream off for some man's theory and idea? Amen. Or have you got the real boldness and the, the real manhood it takes to stand out and call right, right, and wrong, wrong? Amen. Are you a part of His resurrection? Are you a worshiper of a bunch of creeds? Are you a gore to church that you have your name on there and dead in sin and trespasses? He that believes not the full word of God is a sinner. Those Pharisees believed in many things to, to be the truth. They said we're God's children. And they were until that word was preached. Amen. But when that word was preached and vindicated, then they become sinners Amen. for rejecting the thing that they know was right and witness that we know that our teacher come from God. For no man could do the things that you do without God being with you. Amen. I wonder today, where are we at? I ask you, where is this resurrection finding us? Are you dare to step out? Are you dare to take God at His word? That's it. If you're ordained to life, you sure will do it. Amen. If you're an eagle, you can't help doing it. Amen. There's something in you. Or do you want to just serve a creed somewhere? Say, I go to church, I'm just as good as you are. See, if you hold no birthrights, you will never see it. You can't see it. But if you do hold the possession of this birthright, you can't help from seeing it. Amen. Because it's part of you. And you're a part of it. Amen. How could I not am I the mother that gave me birth? How could I not the father that his own blood is in me? How could I not Charles Brand for me and my father? I could not do it. Amen. I'm willing to stand his reproach or anything else because I am his son. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then being a son of God, and He was the Word of God. Amen. How can I deny that Bible being truth that Jesus Christ isn't the same yesterday, today, and forever? And see, in the hour that we're living in, we need our Easter in the church. Amen. Resurrection. We need a resurrection to power of faith. Amen. Men and women to stand out for that which is God's vindicated Word. Amen. Say, well, we're having a youth for Christ. That's all right. Our church is having a meeting. We want so many members. Nothing against that. That's all right. But that's only the atmosphere. Amen. That might be an old hen's feathers. Amen. But if you'll get in the right atmosphere there, you'll hatch an eagle if you're an eagle egg. And if you were foreordained of God to see you can't help from seeing it. Amen. You're coming forth in a resurrection. 
That's the way the Baptist is born. That's the way the Methodist is born. In the resurrection of that day. But they turned off to a hen instead of an eagle. I said not long ago, going down from Tucson, I watched a very strange thing. I seen a hawk sitting on the wire down there. That hawk has long lost its identification. It used to be a bird next to the eagle. It could not follow the eagle. No one by no means. Nothing can follow an eagle. But he was a hawk. Christ is the eagle. And the church should at least be a hawk. They can fly higher than any other rest of the birds. But that hawk has become soft. Amen. It's lost his identification. He sits on the telephone wires and waits for some dead rabbit. Amen. He hops like a vulture instead of flying like a hawk. Amen. Oh, my brother, sister, you Pentecostal people, which is my own dear people, the church is losing its identification. It's coming down and depending on some dead formal creed. Instead of flying in the heavenly genre for fresh manna, a hawk used to hunt his own manna. But today he takes what the automobiles run over and what the vultures eat. He hops like one. He looks like one. We so adorned ourselves in the modern world. Our women cutting their hair and wearing shorts. Our man with not enough backbone to stand in the pulpit and tell the truth. We've long got soft on the word. Amen. Oh, God, send the Holy Ghost and look out them eagles somewhere Preacher. that's ready to stand out no matter what takes place that'll soar into the unknown. Preacher. Not sit on the telephone wires and look for some Sunday school literature to come in. Let me have the word in it, the precious of the power and demonstration of the Holy Amen. Ghost. Amen. We need an Easter, a resurrection. That's potential. My friend, if you're satisfied with such a caring of the world, there's something wrong. My sister and my brother, let me say to you, it's in godly fear, knowing that I may never live to see an Easter again. But there's one thing sure, when a genuine, foreordained son of God, by the word of God, hears that voice of God, he'll rise and go to meet it. It's the potential that he's going to meet the real living word, as he was. The bride will meet the groom. She's a part of his body. Amen. Notice, long have we, we're losing our identifications. We come on Wednesday night, some of us. Others stay home to watch Who Loves Susie. Televisions, all kinds of worldly things. All kinds of entertainments to keep you away from church. Long have we lost it. Our seminaries, our schools are putting out a bunch of rickies. With a whole lot of theology and, and entertainment and everything in the church to take the place of the prayer meeting. Amen. We've tucked dress and try to fulfill what the modernists try to do. It. Bring them in. You'll never win them by that. They got more of that than you have. Amen. You ain't got no business on your ground, on their ground. Let them come over on yours where the real baptism is shining. Amen. Where the real power of the resurrection don't try to build a church like theirs. Don't try to have a pastor like that. Don't try to do this other or cooperate with the world. Amen. They shine with Hollywood. The real gospel glows with power. Amen. Eagles hear that. They don't look for a shine. They look for a glow. Amen. Glowing with humility. Glowing with love. Glowing with power. That's what the real eagle hunts. You can't scratch in a barnyard and please him. He'll never be able to do it. You'll never tell it to him because he don't believe it. Amen. Let that voice scream from the heavens, I am he that was dead and alive again. Amen. Something takes place. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. And it shall come to pass in the last days. I'll pour out of myself upon all his flesh. Amen. Glory to God. I'll quicken your mortal language. I'll quicken your mortal tongues. I'll give you the evidence that I'm going to bring in the resurrection with me. Hungry hearted eagles reach for that just as hard as they can. It's a pearl of great price that they sell everything else to go by. Amen. Amen. God help us, friend. Our churches are losing their identification. Let's quickly now have to go to some. Watch the action of those disciples. A scared. They know Jesus was the truth. But you see, it was against the popular idea. Amen. The popular religion of the hour. The most strictest religion. Sarah, Pharisees, Sadducees, and so forth. Their cults, clans, and denominations. 
They were, they were against that heresy. But Jesus was the identified Word. And Jesus is the Holy Ghost and Spirit. A little while in the world see me, no more you shall see me. Not the body, the life that was in Him, God. Is upon the church to call sons like He did then. Obedient. I always do that which is pleasing to my Father. Which one of you can accuse me of sin? In other words, sin is unbelief. What has the Word said about me that I haven't done? Show me what the Word said that I do it I didn't do. Which one can accuse me? Which one can lay your fingers on me and say that I haven't fulfilled my Father's Word? Oh, when the Pentecostal church gets to that spot. Amen. Who can accuse me of unbelief? Oh, Christians, be identified not as a hawk, but an eagle. That hawk is soft. It'll come down. You never see an eagle doing that. He'll never do that. He hunts his own food out of the blue. God's prepared him so he can see it. He gets fresh manna, not something that's dead. Amen. In the Hebrews, when they crossed through the wilderness, they eat, tried to eat dead manna. It had become stagnant. It had, it had wiggle tails in it. You know what we mean. It's, it's contaminated, rotten. Amen. Maggots is in it. Amen. Why would I eat a food that had been dead years ago? Amen. It might be in form and shape, but it isn't fresh. We got to get food every generation new. Amen. So does the eagle look for that food. Every generation as we're in our journey. Notice, now let's take some people again. Let's take some of the Old Testament prophets. See what they did. Let's look first at Stephen's. How Stephen's in the midst of that Sanhedrin council. When that council brought him up there, that great assembly of believers there, are supposed to be believers, brought him up and tried to condemn him. Why, he said, you stiff necks, uncircumcised and heart and ears. You always resist the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's that eternal life. As your fathers did it back under through the prophets, so are you doing it today. And they gnashed up on him with their teeth. They didn't want to hear that. He's against their creed. He's against their denomination. And they stoned the man to death. And he raised his hands up and looked towards heaven and said, I see heaven's open. And Jesus stands on the right side. Why? He had the resurrection quickening power in him that took him into the bosoms of Jesus. Notice quickly now. Look at Philip down there in the great revival. Having a revival for it had been garrison for any man. Well, if we had got a big cooperation amongst the churches and everything down there is having a great revival and the quickening power of God spoke to him said, Stephens, may it said this, you're having a great revival, but I got one man I want you to talk to. And Stephens, obedient, no matter what it is, how much criticism, oh, Stephens, you can't leave, but I can. God said so. And he went out into the desert. And out there he found this eunuch. And what happened? He said, Has, uh, If thou believest with all thine heart that Jesus is the Son of God, uh, I'll baptize you. And when he baptized him, look, he was quickened by this quickening power to leave a revival of thousands of people to go out into the desert to one man. Amen. Oh, that would be against all reasons. See? Why, these 10,000 won't you hear but there's one wanting out there. See, and the quickening power sent him to God's provided place. Hallelujah, man and women. It'll make you stand to your feet. It'll make you do the things that God wants you to do. I don't care what somebody else says about it. The neighbors say, well, that person's lost their mind. They pray all night. They read the Bible. I don't care what they say. It's what God called you to do. Yes. That's right. Oh, they say we can't have these old-fashioned Pentecostal revivals. Like, oh, yes, we can too. You can have it in yourself. And you are the majority in God. No matter what the rest of them think. Notice, after in obedience, listen close now, after obeying God to His Word, when He fulfilled His mission, that quickening power that He received at Pentecost caught Him away. Amen. Quickened His body. Miles and miles away He was taken in the Spirit and was found over in another country somewhere. Quickening power of God. And if we be Pentecostals, that same power that raised up Jesus from the dead, if it dwells in your mortal bodies. Amen. All right. Notice. Let's take another man with this quickening power. There was a man way long ago by the name of Enoch. When a new thing come along, when something come along and said, well, now we have to go back to the old school or this, that, the other. Enoch walked with God. Amen. Whatever God said to Enoch never missed one word. 
He walked with God. What was he? He was the son of God. He was an eagle. It had been called to that day. And when it come time, he was so full of that quickening power. Remember, he'd walked 500 years or more before God. And not one time had he missed his word. Not one time did he misbehave himself. Not one time did he do but kept the testimony. Everything that God told him to do, he went and done it. No argument about it. He just went and done it. No matter what anybody else thought, he went and done it. Amen. Why? He was full of that quickening power. Amen. And when it come time for the old man to die... God just sent out a letter and he walked up home. He quickened him and took his mortal body up in a rapture. Amen. 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 That's that quickening power. Look at Elijah. After his work was finished on earth, he was so full of that quickening power, he condemned them Jackie Kennedy haircuts in his day. He had told old Jezebel what he thought of her. He told them preachers and priests what was right and wrong. And they didn't believe him, but he condemned them painted face women and things so bad. And he's so full of that quickening power that nothing could harm him. Amen. God had fed him from the heavens, took him out and set him aside. And he was so full of quickening power, come time to die, the Jordan opened up and he just walked, just sat down in a chair and took him up home. Amen. So full of that quickening power, he become a true, genuine son of God. <laughs> Notice, he had a successor. And his name was Elisha. And Elisha had a double portion of this quickened power. See? He had a double portion of it. Now, he preached for about 80 years, or he was about 80 years old. He took sick and died. Now, he didn't get to go home like Elijah did. See, both of them is represented there in the church. Some saints go and some resting. But notice, when Elijah was taken up in the rapture, then Elisha went to sleep. And God, full of quickening power, Look at his prophecy just before he died. Amen. See? Now let me show you. I don't care if you're dead or where you're at. That quickening power never leaves. Amen. Years and years after his death, his meat had rotted away. The skin worms had eaten it up. But they were packing a dead man one day. Throwed him in on that bones and there was so much quickening power there until the man come back to life again. Amen. Hallelujah! Raised him up from the dead because that quickening power that was upon that saint of God never left him. Stayed right on those bones. Oh, remember, we are flesh of his flesh, bone of his bones if we are his bride. Amen. Death won't bother that quickening power at all. Amen. Though the skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. Amen. Glory to God. Brought up. I don't know what to say. What a hope for an old man like me. Knowing I see my end time right out yonder soon. That's 56 years old. That's such a little bitty boy of studio trying to proclaim this. But I know that in me, nothing good that I have, nothing I've done. But in me is that quickening power. It quickened me one day from the things of the world as a young man on the eternal life. All oh, the things that's happened. I've seen visions, foretold things. He's never let nothing fail yet. I've spoken other tongues. I've prophesied. I've done those things by the Spirit of God that dwelt in me. That's quickening power. I know that someday my Redeemer's living now. And someday when He comes, these bones shall rise again to go to meet Him in the air. Oh, hallelujah. You may fear me in the sea. Burn it up wherever you want to. That quickening power is eternal. I feel the Easter right now. Yes, sir. I've had it for years. It's in me. It's in you. If you, the Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, dwells in your mortal bodies, it's quickening you from the things of the world to the Word of God only. That's it. It's quickening you from this life to life eternal. You were once dead in sin and trespasses, has now been quickened together to set in play, heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Feasting on manna from above. Seeing the hand of God made manifest and prove the promise of this day. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. They were eating, drinking, marrying, giving and marrying. And as it was in the days of Lot, so will it be in the hours that the Son of Man will be revealed on earth. Not Son of God no more, Son of Man. Come back as the prophetic message for the last day when that eagle will be flying. Not the lion. 
Not the ox in the sacrifice age. See, every time a religious power went forth to meet the challenge of the political power of the world, when the lion raised up the religious power, it went to meet the Roman power. And then when it come to sacrifice hour, the ox went because he's a sacrifice beast of the Lord. Then come the reformers down through the church ages, come the face of a man. And the reformers have been since Luther, Wesley, Hall, Calvin, on down, down, Pentecostal age. But in the last message it went forth, there come a flying eagle. It's eagle time. Reveal time. The Word of God made manifest. The Word of God proved. Oh, children, walk into this baptism of the Holy Spirit. Come in and believe it with all your heart. God will fill you. Look here now. We find now. Remember, we are flesh of His flesh and bone of His bone. As God raised His bones and flesh out of the grave, they cannot hide the man that has the potentials. Amen. Death cannot take him. Jesus said, all the Father has given me will come to me. I'll raise him up at the last day. Amen. Oh, my Easter. Why, we're right in Easter. When He raised, we raise with Him. He sent the abstract back. We hold it as the baptism of the Holy Ghost. He is alive forevermore. The same yesterday day and forever. Hebrews 13, 8 proves that. He's the same. His Messiah anointed ones believe that. Amen. What is a Messiah? What is a Messiah? Messiah is anointed one. And now, if He was the Messiah, uh, being the anointed one for that day to fulfill the Word of God, to be the Redeemer and the anointed one, and God raised up that body, His bride is the anointed one for this day. Amen. It's already raised with Him in the resurrection because these two are one. Amen. 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 I, I wish I could tell you the way I see it. I wish I had the education I could do it with. I, will, I hope you see it. I hope God the Holy Ghost comes down there and puts that in your heart to see what I mean. The resurrection. We are now in the resurrection. We are sitting with Him in the resurrection. But only those who have life. Not those who do not have life. They won't know it. They'll never know it. They'll go right on thinking they're getting the Holy Ghost. Being saved and the rapture will be over with and gone. Said, Elias has already come and they did that way and you knew it not. See, Notice. Death does not stop the quickening power of God. Notice, death can't stop it. You say, well, my mother was a spirit-filled woman. My daddy, i never seen a man so full of the power as my daddy. But he died, Brother Branham. Sure, that didn't stop the quickening power. Moses had that quickening power. You believe that? There never was a man like him on the earth until Jesus. For he didn't only see visions, he talked face to face with God. Even a prophetess, Miriam, disputed his word one day. He said, don't you fear God? Amen. Consider my servant Moses. There's not nobody in the world like him this hour. Amen. There's never been anybody like Moses. I speak to Moses. What did he ever say it wasn't truth? See? I speak to Moses. Don't you fear God? Don't you say a word against him? And right then she was stricken with leprosy. And it was dying. She didn't live very long afterwards. Moses prayed for her. And Moses climbed up on the mountain in 120 years of ministry, or 80 years of ministry, 120 years of life, climbed up on the mountains and died and was buried in the valley. But that quickening power was on him. About 800 years later, here he's standing on Mount Transfiguration. Amen. Amen. What was he? He was included in that resurrection. Sure he was. He had the quickening power of God. Here he was standing. Look at Joel, Abraham, Isaac, the saints, on the day of the resurrection, that great morning, that Job and all of them knew that would come when he said, I know my Redeemer liveth hundreds and hundreds of years before Christ. It's actually, the book of Job was wrote before Genesis, they claim. The oldest book in the Bible. And in his trials, and like we go through now, and his wife, even the closest thing to him on earth, said, won't you curse God and die the death? He said, thou speakest like a foolish woman. The Lord gave, the Lord taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And then when the Spirit of God come upon him, and he began to prophesy, he said, I know my Redeemer liveth. And the last days he'll stand upon this earth, though the skin worms destroys his body, yet my flesh shall I see God. Amen. And he made a place to bury himself. He said, well, by this ground, he's bought there and buried himself. Later on, 
come a man named Abraham. The church growing, coming on up. Abraham. Well, now he had the potentials of God too. Everlasting life. Eternal. Because God called him. Now notice, when he died or Sarah died, he bought a piece of ground in Palestine near Job's grave and buried Sarah. Abraham died and also was buried with Sarah. Abraham begot, uh, begot Isaac. And Isaac, when he died, he slept with Abraham in the same portion of ground. Now, when Isaac begot Jacob, Jacob died way down in Egypt. But being a prophet now with this potential, this quickening power, son, put your hand up on this hip that God crippled. Thank you, Lord. Swear to the God of heaven you'll not bury me down here. What was in that man? Why wasn't Egypt just as good as any place? He was a prophet. Amen. You know where that resurrection is going to be? What's well, going to be in Egypt? It'll be in Palestine. Amen. So put your hands up on my crippled hip and you swear by the God that I've served. You're my prophet's son that you'll not bury my bones down here. Take me up here and bury me. Joseph, being a prophet, also laid his hands upon his crippled daddy, said, I swear by the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I'll not bury you here. They took him up and buried him up in that land. Why? Why? When Joseph died, he said, don't you bury me down here. Amen. Don't bury me down here. Why? God's got everywhere, but he has a plan. Amen. Joseph was a prophet. He said, someday, listen to his words, the Lord God will, revi- will visit you. And we'll take you out of this land. And when you go, you take my bones. Amen. That quickening power was in them bones. <laughs> oh, if the spirit of him that raised up Christ from the dead dwell in you. Hallelujah. He'll also quicken your mortal bodies. Amen. Don't put my bones down here. Bear him up there. But those are the promise. When Jesus come here, I've got a scripture here. Matthew 27, 51. When Jesus raised from the dead, Job seen that coming, said, I know my Redeemer liveth. The last days he'll stand upon this earth. Though the skin worms has destroyed this body, yet my flesh I'll see God. I'll see him. Abraham was a prophet. Isaac was a prophet. Jacob was a prophet. Joseph was a prophet. And they had the revelation of God according to his word. Amen. On that Easter morning, when that one came and redeemed all those who had believed on him, they raised too, according to the Bible. Amen. That quickening power come into the grave of Job, where there wasn't even a spoonful of the dust of his bones left. After all those hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, his bones had decayed and it went back and turned back to the gases of the earth. And just a mere ash dust lay there. But yet when that's quickening power, according to the word of God, to the promise, hundreds and hundreds, yes, thousands of years later, when that quickening power was brought forth in the grave, Job, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all of them come out of the grave with him. The Bible said so. St. Matthew, the 27th chapter and 51st verse, it said many of the saints that slept in the dust of the earth, resurrected and come out of the graves with him when he come up on Easter morning. Why? They had that potential. They had that quickening power. See? And raised up from the dead and went with Him in the resurrection. Enjoying the resurrection with Him because they were full of that quickening power. They had that genuine Easter seal. Well, you say, I wish I lived back in the Old Testament. Wait a minute. In First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, the 16th verse, Oh, she read that. I would not have you ignorant, brethren, concerning those that sleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again the third day, not make belief, but we believe it. Even so, them that sleep in Him shall God bring with Him. The New Testament saints with that quickening power shall resurrect also at His second coming. Just as sure as the Old Testament saints with all that quickening power upon their bones and translations and powers and so forth that showed of God, the prophets who the Word of God came to, they resurrected with Him on that resurrection morning. And with the promise of God that everyone that's in Christ Jesus will also come with Him in His resurrection. The quickening power of God upon the bones. No wonder we lay hands on the sick. 
No wonder we love one another. We are brothers and sisters. We shouldn't hate one another because we're corrected by the Word of God. We should love one another and have respects for one another. You know, if you don't, it won't help you. This little fellow sitting right here under this church now, a few days ago, that man believes little old boy had a cancer on his ear. And he wouldn't say nothing about it. He's working up there at the house. I've been on a hunting trip with him up there at the Mosley brothers. Brother Dawson here was up here a hunting, Brother William's son. And I have to look over on his ear and I see his ear all swollen up. And I said, what's the matter, Donovan? That ear. He said, Brother Brent, it's been on a long time. I don't know. I just missed, caught him by the hand there. That was a big cancer on his ear. Never said one word. Just held it. And thought, my brother. In a day or two after that, there wasn't even a scar left of it. Amen. It was his respect. Amen. And the God of heaven, by his quickening power, Kill that cancer and spare the life of Donovan Wirtz back there. It's right. What is these things? Look at your people here in Phoenix. Look at your people who's believed in this. Look at the people who has this that lays their hands upon you. Watch what happens. It's quickening power. These signs shall follow them that believe. If they lay their hands on the sick, that quickening power, eagle to eagle, something's going to take place. Now, eagle to a buzzard won't work. Eagle to eagle raises from the barnyard to the heavenlies. These signs shall follow them that believe. And they're both in belief. See that same quickening power of God represented in these two prophets, Elijah and Elisha. Notice, the same word one of them is catch up. The other is caught up. <laughs> catch up and caught up. Hey, he was caught up. We'll be catch up, catch up with him, meet him in the air, be caught up to meet him in the air. Notice a bird has to have two wings to balance itself. Is that right? Elijah was a translating wing. Elijah. Elisha was a resurrection wing. See, both of them together representing the saints that are living and the saints that are gone on. Remember, quicken to see the past. The curtains, how these people were quickened back there to look past the curtain and see down in this time. Those prophets, look at Paul, said in the last days how these people would be acting, calling themselves Christians. He was a prophet, full of the quickening power. Foresaw it come to pass. We believe that, don't we? He received quickening power. Look at the quickening power today, foretelling things without one event missing. Not one time does it fail. Quickening power. Not the power of a man, the power of God. The power, the abstract of Easter. The resurrected Jesus has sent back the abstract to guarantee us that we are already quickened with Him. Notice, you remember the little book uh, businessman here looking to pass the curtain of time? And I begin to get older, knowing my days are getting shorter. Now I get real, I play that little piece of them ladies saying a while ago, I've had it for about 18, 20 years now. I want to talk it over, Lord. They get out there and go to praying. Then that quickening power comes. I'm rested up. And I looked up there and I said, look at yonder. I remember that morning being caught a pass. My wife sitting back there, laying on the same bed with me that morning. And I was raised up and looked up in there. She is asleep. And I said, if I'm going to do anything to the Lord, you better hurry up, boy. You're past 50. And then the Holy Spirit caught me away and I looked over there. I seen those saints. Just as certain I'm standing here by this desk with this sacred book laying here and a minister of the gospel. Have I ever told you anything in the name of the Lord about what happened? But I want you to tell me about it. Every time has it been perfectly at the platform. Every time has it happened just like he said. This was thus saith the Lord. I stood there and looked over that time and I seen tens of thousands times thousands coming. Young men and women run throwing their arms around me and screaming. I look right back and see myself laying on the bed. Oh, Lord, let me look up past the curtain of time. What is it? It's quickening power. Now catch us away. That great quickening power. The quickening power coming this last days. That's what I'm in Arizona for right now. There's many people sitting right here, stood right here at Phoenix, and heard me tell you from this very platform, Thus saith the Lord. How many remembers it? Oh, uh, go something's fixing to happen. I saw seven angels come. Didn't Life magazine pack it as the 
fog of it floated across here 27 miles high and 30 miles across. Is not Fred Sopman, these other Gene Norman, them sitting back there, stood right there when them seven angels appeared right there on the hill. It shook the hills for miles around like that. There stood seven angels and threw a sword in hand and said, Go home and open these seven seals they were given. And here they are, the true mystery of marriage and divorce and the serpent seed and all these things that's been fussed about. It's thus saith the Lord. Amen. What is it? The quickening power coming to the church, Amen. making her ready in this hour that we're approaching. Quickening power. Oh, God, help us to receive it. Help us to believe it. See, this depends on what attitude you take to it, whether it's going to do you any good or not. No. So you have to believe that. If you don't believe it, it won't do you one bit of good. How old Samuel stood there before that people and said, Have I ever told you anything in the name of the Lord But what happened? Did I ever beg you for your money to live on? No, but we want the king anyhow. That's the way the church is today. They want their own ideas. They won't pay a bit of attention to you. They walk right around. Well, it just goes to show the quickening power is not there. I always say, well, I spoke in tongues. I jumped. I shouted. That's all fine. But if that quickening power is there, you'll recognize like that little eagle. That's his mama. That's the word. That's thus saith the Lord. That's what God promised. That's what was foretold. That's exactly what happened. We're beyond any shadow of doubt, potentially in the resurrection right now. The saints getting ready to be taken up in the air. So Jesus, so full of this quickening power, said, if you can destroy this temple that took you 40 years, you thought to build, I'll raise it up in three days. Why? Why could Jesus say that? I want to ask you. Why could Jesus say a thing like that? He knew that he was. Amen. Amen. I wish I could make that stick. He knew who he was. He knew that every word God had wrote in there of him, he had fulfilled it. He knew he was one David spoke of. Do you know you're the one the Bible speaks of? Yes. Do you know your position is in Christ? If you're in Christ, you're a new creature. Do you know this word is just like everyday living to you? Well, sure, it's yours. You are an eagle, that's your food. He knew that by the power of God... He would do it because it was prophesied He would do it. Amen. That's the reason He wasn't scared to say, Destroy this temple. I'll raise it up in three days. Because David said, I'll not leave his soul in hell. Neither will I suffer my Holy One to see corruption. He knew not one cell of his body would corrupt. It corrupts in 72 hours. He said, Destroy this temple. I'll raise it up again. Amen. And in three days. Why? He was so full of that quickening power. That quickened every word. He looked back and seen every word God wrote of him. And the prophet said he fulfilled it. He knew that would be fulfilled too. Amen. Now, every word that God said, has your spirit said amen to it, has been fulfilled in your life as a believer? Do you hold back on something? Say, well, my church teaches different. Then be careful, Hawk. <laughs> Notice, eagles believe. Amen. No question to them. They believe it. Notice, now, he knew it would happen because the Word said it wasn't. Every word wrote of him had to be fulfilled. He knew that it was written by the power of God, by the holy prophets that had prophesied that he would do so. And prophecy never fails. It cannot. The Word of God can't fail. And it is written in the, by the Spirit that is now also... The Spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead. If it dwells in your being, your body, it will also quicken your mortal body. Then shoot it, burn it, do anything you want to, make fun of it, tear it down, turn it down, do what you want to. God will raise it up for He said He would. And every saint of God has that promise in Him, knows that that's the truth. So fear not, brother. We're already in the Easter. Look now at transfiguration just before we close. Transfiguration. We are all represented there in transfiguration. Look what we are seeing today. Notice just what we're seeing today, the quickening power of God. We was all there. There was the dead saints represented in Moses. There was a resurrection and Jesus Christ glorified Elijah, Moses, Elijah, and Jesus, all standing on the mountain. The dead saints, raptured saints, and Jesus glorified. 
Oh, my. What do you say? I heard a guy say this. Say, you people, why, if you had this kind of power, you ought to go out and tell people what you can do. Far be it from a real Christian saying a thing like that. See? Surely we don't claim no power. to, But we do one thing. When they looked around with all this power upon them, they saw Jesus only. And a real true believer don't care whether he's backing up a denomination or nothing about it. He only wants one thing, for you to see that glorified Christ. Amen. It makes a difference. A real true Mount Transfiguration experience only glorifies Jesus Christ. He didn't glorify Moses, didn't glorify Elijah, didn't glorify themselves, didn't glorify nothing else, but they seem to glorify Christ. And any true believer, that's what's in his heart, to glorify Jesus Christ. That's what he's trying to get the people to see. Not say, well, if you come join our groups, if you come do this or do that, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. See God's Word, which is Christ, magnified and fulfilled the promise of this day in this great hour of resurrection. Notice. And it gives them joy to know that we are with Him of flesh of His flesh and bone of His bones. What a joy. That's the only thing that a real believer cares about. They don't care about a denomination. They don't care about an organization. They don't care about what the other women think. They don't care. Certainly not. They won't do these things that the, these other women do. They, these men won't do them things. They won't hang and baby around with some organization, keep being putting out and afraid they won't have a meal ticket. They don't care about them things. It's nonsense to them. There's only one heart's desire that is to see Jesus Christ glorified. Yes. Their conduct must be with God. It must absolutely nothing else but just the glory of Jesus Christ. And what is Jesus? The Word. Is that right? Amen. Now notice. And seeing his same vindicated method proving his resurrection. Now what is it? Seeing your life by his promised word that he said he's the same yesterday and forever. Proving that he's still alive. I don't care if ever a door in the country is closed to me. That, I'm, as I said, I was 56 the other day. I could be snapped out. I'm at the heart attack age. I'm at all this other age and everything else. Well, what difference? It didn't make any difference to me when I was a kid. It don't make any difference now. What hour my number's called and my car out of the rack. I don't care if they ever know they ever lived on the earth. It don't make me no difference. You don't have to have no big monuments and big buildings to say that I was shown on earth. And the one thing I want them all to know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, Amen. and forever. And in my heart, I hold his abstract. And I know that someday, although I may be drowned in the sea, I may be killed in Africa, I don't know what will happen to me, but one thing I know, I hold the abstract. Hallelujah! Amen. Every door can be closed. That don't make a bit of difference to me. I'm not trying to glorify some man or some organization, nor myself or another groups or nothing else. I want people to see Jesus Christ is raised from the dead and His Spirit lives. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. No wonder Jesus said, Fear not. I am He that was dead, but I'm alive forevermore. For now, we are redeemed by Him and are risen with Him. And are now, not will be, sitting in heavenly places in Him. Now, when we have this Spirit in us, the abstract shows that all of the doubts has been stricken off. Amen. What? Christ lives. Amen. Not I live. Not me. Christ lives in me. Amen. Not you live, but Christ lives in you because His living Word Amen. lives in you. Showing that all of the accounts of all your Methodist and Baptist and Pentecostal ideas and everything else is stricken off. Amen. And Jesus Christ like on Mount's Transfiguration, all the prophets and everything else is finished. All the days of the Lutheran, the Methodist, the Presbyterian, they're all right. But this is my beloved Son. Amen. Hear ye Him. Amen. The word of this hour. The hour of the seals. When all the mysteries back counter that's been hit all these years, them, that great pyramid of time, were stricken off the headstone 
make it home down so that the star of David will settle into its place and the great church of the living God will be raised like the wings of an eagle packed out in our end of glory. Yes, in now, in now in our bodies with speaking with new tongues, with prophesying and foreseeing, laying hands on the sick and they recover. The world dead and all the things of the world we pass from death unto life and we now hold the power Hallelujah. On that resurrection morning, when death seals will be broken, we shall rise. Hallelujah. We shall rise. Amen. There ain't enough devils in hell to keep us from doing it. We were foreordained of God for this hour. The Word of God manifests itself right to us and we live in the presence of God. By the word promise of God. Amen. And a devil in hell can keep me from raising. Then a door he can shut my face of that morning. Amen. The seals have been broken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm free. I'm an eagle. Amen. I'm no longer in a cage. Hallelujah. I'm free. I'm raised from the dead into the new life of Jesus Christ. Not only me, but every man, woman, boy, or girl sitting here that's been filled into that Spirit of God is a new creature in Christ, and you are an eagle. We are alive today and enjoy the resurrection forevermore because He lives, we are alive also, and He's living us, making us alive. And the Spirit that raised Him from the dead Dwelling in our being shall quicken our mortal bodies to that great eternal Easter. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, take the world. Take anything you want to. But give me Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I love Him. He's all the world to me. And because that you are a part of Him, I am a part of you. And you are a part of me. And together we are part of Him. Oh, Christian, what an opportunity we have. We have opportunities that St. Paul never dreamed of having. We had opportunities that Enoch and Elijah and all of them never had. The opportunities we have now. And there's one little sheep out there somewhere. And he'll not be satisfied till that one comes in the fold. By the help of God and by a vision, and thus saith the Lord, I'm returning across the sea. That last little sheep may be a black one down there for all I know. Or they don't even think they got a soul. But God knows different. Yes. I'm going to seek to the last day of my life to find that one, wherever it is. I hope I never have offended any of my brethren. But saying these strict things out, not as I don't want you to go to church. Sure, I want you to go to church. You go to church wherever you're going. But just don't let that be your hope. Say, well, I belong to this or I belong to that. Oh, brother, sister, belong to Christ. Go to church, but belong to Christ. Yes. Amen. Let that, let that potential, if that isn't in you, quicken you right now to life. Won't you just receive it now? This room's full of it. Yes. I feel it all over me. I know it's here. The power of God. The great seer of visions. The great foreteller that can tell the things that it never fails. The great one that can speak and no man can say it's no. A man can open and no man can shut. He that was dead is now alive. Amen. And if Alive today here in Phoenix, walking amongst the newborn flowers. No wonder on that Easter morning, little teardrops of dew was laying on every lily's cheek and every rose. Why? It knowed it was brought up through the ground and somewhere there's an eternal flower blooming. It'll take its place someday. That's right. No wonder joy for tears can run down our cheeks. No wonder our hearts quiver and shake when we can feel that same transforming power coming into our lives and filling us. Even for letting us
Rise to our feet, let's sing the first verse. Oh, Buana Ni Chunga Chi Wangu Kweli Sita Fu Kuki Waki Chu Na Kuni Laza Ende Majani Mabi Ah uh-huh. 
zote za maisha yangu you love the lord this morning amen let's sing i will serve thee because i love thee lord you have given life to me hallelujah i was nothing i was nothing yes lord before you found me oh thank you lord you have given life to me and now all my heart aches yes oh heart aches and broken pieces lord ruin life is our lord you hearts i will sing the lord because you are do you love him this morning raise your hands to him oh you have given life to me oh yes lord oh i was nothing Lord before you found me and now you have given life to me praise the Lord for sure all are and all are broken be background we have come into his house lord to magnify his name and worship him oh we have come
to magnify His name and worship Him. Amen. Let us lift up holy hands to magnify His name and worship Him. Amen. Let us lift up holy hands to you, Lord, to magnify your name and worship Christ, the Lord, the living God. Oh, worship you, are Christ, the Lord. So let's forget about ourselves and concentrate. Him this morning, oh, so let's forget about ourselves and concentrate on Him and worship Him. We bow before you, Lord. Let's forget about ourselves and concentrate on Him and worship. chorus now just meaning it in your heart in prayer with the instrument silent now oh how I love you. just worship him this morning I you. praise you Lord my Just cry to him this morning. He is worthy of his praise. My oh my all, you're my all in all. Oh, thank you, Lord. We pray, Lord. The great creator. Oh, he became, became my Savior. Oh, and all his goodness. Father, oh, how we love you, Lord, how we adore you, Father, my breath, my sunshine, Lord, my all in all, oh, great creator, Lord, unworthy am I, Lord, to deserve, Lord, the grace that you have given, Father, each and every one, Lord, in this room, Lord, feels the same way, Lord. How, Lord, you've reminded us, Lord, this past Easter, Lord, that you came and died for me, Lord. It was my sin and my shame that bled and you died for it, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, what manner of love. Oh, God, that a king would, would live and die for such a sin as I, Lord. 
it does something to my heart this morning, Lord Jesus. To know, Lord, that I've come into your house this morning to magnify that same God. The God who walked this earth a thousand years ago, Lord, and gave his life for me. What a love story, Father. Oh God, in this building, Lord, your children now lifting up their hands in faith, Lord, to you, Lord. Lifting up their prayers, Lord, their needs, Father, their burdens, Father. Walking to Calvary this morning, everybody, Lord, bowed to the dust, Lord, where they came from, Lord. Humbly praying, Father, that you have mercy upon us this morning, Lord. Let your grace be sufficient for us, Lord. For to our families, Father, to our friends, Lord, even to our enemies, Father. Oh God, how we would love, Lord, to walk this way, Lord Jesus, that is within the highway, Father. That you have called us, Lord Jesus, to a higher order, Lord, of life, Father. Oh God, to walk righteously, Lord, to be perfect as you are perfect, Father. Oh God, we know, Lord, there is no human effort that could ever get us there, Father. It is only you, Lord, who could hold our hands, Father, transform us and mold us, Father, into your will, Lord Jesus, this morning. Oh God, whatever need is in the hearts of your children this morning, Lord, in every congregation gathered, Lord, in your name, Father. You knew, Lord, even before they prayed, Father. Oh God, speak to their hearts this morning, Lord Jesus. Bless them this morning, Lord Jesus. Take away, Lord, any shackles, Lord, that has bound your child, Lord. Oh God, let the enemy flee from this uh, congregation this morning, Father. Let there be just a sweet spirit among us, Father. Oh, Holy Spirit, come and reign within us, Lord. Oh God, come and move and walk your way within us, Father. We surrender ourselves to thee, Lord. Come and have your way, Lord. Oh God, as we are about to start, Lord, the service, Lord, we want to start with you, Lord. We go that this is the only way, Lord, that we'll get anything from this, Father. So, Lord, use us, Lord, as your vessels this morning, Lord. We commit all things, Lord, into your hands, into able hands, Father. Let your love reign, Lord, this morning in your children, Lord. And let there be a holy shout of praise and glory unto thee, Father. Receive all the honor and all the glory, Lord, as we pray this shortly, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. You love the Lord? Amen. Welcome, your brother, this morning. Uh, Karibishe, kwa upendo. So glad to see each other as we start uh, the, the, the service. Amen. Jina la Yesu libarikiwe. Jina la Yesu libarikiwe. Jina la Yesu libariki iwe ni jina langu zote one more time Jina la Yesu libariki iwe o Jina la Yesu libariki iwe Jina la Yesu libariki ni jina jina langu zote o Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. Now, King Oni Mwayodani. Nina Angalia Kweli Barazuri Ya Kanani Nina Yutama Kweli Tutaka Tutaka Kamboza na Yesu Alleluia Katika Pwani Enyera Tutaimba Wimbo wa msana kondo Kilele hata milele Kweli bara Ile ina nuru nuru Ya milele Uyu kristo kristo Chua unitawala ufu Kuzaa 
You can hold your Bible and say, Neno, 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 Lita Simama, Kweli, Neno, Lita Simama, Kweli, Yauli, Wengu ya Tapita, Lakini, Neno, Lita Simama, Oh, Neno, Lita Simama, Neno, Lita Simama, Jesus never, Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. The heaven and earth will pass away, but Jesus. Let's confess it one more time. Oh Jesus, Jesus never. Oh Jesus. If you believe, heaven and earth will pass away, but Jesus never fails. You can have your seats now. Amen. You believe that? Amen. Heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will never pass away. Amen. As we have the tithes and offerings, we'll uh, have a special from Sister Mercy. If she's around.
Amen. Is that our prayer this morning? Amen. Uh, because of time, we'll uh, have that. And uh, the other specials, we'll have them next time, the Lord willing. Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we bow before you once again, Lord Jesus. We are so thankful, Lord, for that testament, Lord Jesus, that now, Lord, because you died, we are living in the bloody footprints of the cross. Thank you, Lord, for bearing our shame and bearing our sins like that, Lord. No other man could do that for us, Lord, and so we are eternally grateful, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, now as... Lord, we wait for your word, Lord Jesus. Oh God, we want to surrender, Lord, everything, Lord, that we have, Lord, to give. Is our all on the altar laid, Lord, this morning, Father? It is us, Lord, that you want on that altar. So, Lord, we just ask, Lord, that you, you cleanse us, Father, now. Make us ready, Lord, for your word, Father. As the deep is calling to the deep, Lord, Oh God, let your word answer to us this deep, Father. To every question, Lord, in the house, Lord, there is a word answer, Lord, this morning for it, Father. Catch our attention, Lord Jesus, so much, Lord. Oh God, that all we'll see, Lord, is you, Father. Oh God, give strength to your man servant, Father, as he speaks, Lord. Capture every movement, Lord Jesus, every word that he utters, Father. Let it be you, oh dear King, Lord, that we see this morning. God, we commit, Lord, even the tithes and offerings that your children have given, Lord. Let it be for the furtherance of your kingdom, Lord. Continue blessing your children, Lord. As we wait upon thee, Lord, we love you. And we pray this shortly, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. As the minister comes at any moment, we'll sing. <coughs> Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. For see on the portals, he is waiting and is watching. Sorry, we would like to announce uh, the Sunday school. Uh, this is the announcement that we're supposed to flash for the Sunday school children. Sorry about that. Please, uh, let's have your Sunday school children leaving. Come home. Come home. Ye who are weary, come home. Let's go. 
He is calling all sinners. Most precious Heavenly Father, we bow down in your presence this morning, oh Father. And we are thankful and grateful to you, precious Father, that by your own divine ordination, dear Lord, chose us to appear in these end times, oh Father, to worship you and to represent you in the darkness of Laodicea, dear Father. Dear Lord, we thank you for your grace that when your voice went out, we were able to catch it. And here we, sat in, we sit in your presence, O oh Father. Praying, O oh Father, that as we behold your word, O oh God, dear Lord, we may grow from one glory to another, O oh Father. Dear Father, we may be found in your image, O oh God. As the word goes forth this morning, O oh Lord, we pray, precious Father, may nothing hinder us, O oh God. May your spirit deal with our souls, O oh God, at our points of need, O oh God. May there be no man on this pulpit, O oh God, but the Holy Spirit ministering to the hearts of your children. Bless the hearing of your word. Commit ourselves into your presence. All our needs, we lay them at your feet. You touch us where we need you, dear Father. In humility, we pray this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you, church. Amen. 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 I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you uh, for being in the service this morning. Thank you the pastor for having me this morning. The fellowship together with you. I bring greetings from Pastor John Wahanu. I hope you receive them. Amen. 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 So, uh, we shall stand on our feet. Naomba kwamba tutasimama. And read the scriptures. Tutasoma katika maandiko matakatifu. And these are very familiar scriptures. Na maandiko tutakayosoma ni maandiko tumeyazoea kuyasoma mara nyingi. And the first one is Revelations chapter 10. Andiko la kwanza ni katika ufunuo kifungu cha kumi. Verse 1 to 4. Tutasoma mstari wa kwanza mpaka mstari wa nne. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head. Kaona malaika mwingine mwenye nguvu akishuka kutoka mbinguni amevikwa wingu na upinde wa mvua juu ya kichwa chake. And his face was as it were the sun and his feet as pillars of fire. So wake ulikuwa kama jua na miguu yake kama nguzo za moto. And he had in his hand a little book open and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot on the earth. Mkononi mwake wa kuume alikuwa na kitabu kidogo kimefunguliwa akaweka mguu wake wa kuume juu ya bahari na wa kushoto juu ya nchi. And cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth and when he had cried seven thunders uttered their voices. Na yakalia kwa sauti kuu kama sima simba ngurumavyo na alipolia zile ngurumo saba zikatoa sauti zao. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices I was about to write and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered and write them not. Hata ngurumo saba zilipotoa sauti zao nilikuwa tayari kuandika nami nikasikia sauti kutoka mbinguni ikisema yatie muhuri maneno hayo yalionenwa na hizo ngurumo saba usiaandike. Amen. Amen. One more scripture. Andiko lingine moja. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 16 to 18 The Thessalonians wa kwanza kifungu cha 4 mstari wa 16 mpaka 18 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 16 to 18 The Thessalonians wa kwanza 4 For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise fast Kwa sababu Bwana mwenyewe 
atashuka kutoka mbinguni akiwa na mwaliko na sauti ya malaika mkuu na panda ya Mungu na waliokufa katika Kristo watafufuliwa kwanza and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the lord kisha sisi tulio hai tulio salia tutanyakuliwa pamoja nao katika mabingu ili tumlaki bwana hewani na hivyo tutakuwa pamoja na bwana milele may the lord bless his word bwana bariki neno lake tunaweza kuketi amen I'd like to appreciate the music ministry. Ningetaka kufurahia na kushukuru kwa sababu enjoyed the song service. Can we service. give them a hand clap? Hebu tuwapigie makofi. Amen. 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 We are most grateful. Amen. Tunashukuru sana. For the gifts that the Lord has placed among us. Kwa sababu ya vipawa ambavyo Mungu ameweka katikati yetu. Amen. Now I believe we are ready for the word. Sasa tuko tumefanya warm up tuko tayari for the kwa word? neno. Tayari kwa neno. Amen. 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 Please say amen to the word. Tafadhali sema amina neno likienda. It is very important to say amen to the word. Hiyo ni muhimu kabisa. Kusema amina ni muhimu. Because an amen sababu amina is the only legal tender. Ndio 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 note that you have. Ambayo unayo to transact the business of the kingdom noti ambazo unazo pesa kwa wallet ya kiroho kufanya biashara na mambo ya kiufalme when you are in a service like this ukiwa katika ibada kama leo noti ni hiyo praise the name of the lord bwana well, the bible says biblia inasema that without faith bila ya imani it is impossible to please god haiwezekani kumpendeza mungu and you need to please god na inabidi umpendeze for god to give you blessings ili akupatie baraka kutolewa kwa shelf for god to give you the desires ili mungu akujalie haja of your heart na matakwa ya moyo wako there is no other way hakuna njia nyingine to declare your faith ya kutangaza imani yako in the word of god kwa neno la mungu other than to say amen isiyokuwa kusema amina to the word of god kwa neno la mungu amen praise the name of the lord bwana sana amen therefore basi When you say amen, Kisema, amen. you confess Unakiri. that that which is being spoken hicho is unto you ni chakwako, as it has been said. Hivyo, hivyo And when you do that, Na hilo, you have paid. Umelipa sasa, Then mungu noti. You receive what you sasa have got. Sasa hilo <laughs> amen. 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 Praise the name of Wana the Lord. Sana. That is right because he is the high priest of our confession. Na ni kweli sababu yeye ni kwa ni mkuu yale tunayokiri. So he can only act on what you have confessed. Yeye anatenda tu kwa kile ambacho umekiri. And an amen to his word. Na amen kwa neno lake. The greatest confession. Ndio ukiri mkubwa kabisa. Praise the name of the Lord. Sana. So don't come to church to, you, to do window shopping. Usije kanisani kufanya tu kutembea tu window shopping. If you, if you sit down and just agree with the word and you don't say amen ukiketi tu ati unakubaliana na neno kumbe husemi amina and you say hey, that one sounds good unasema na hiyo ni kama ni tamu na hiyo ni point na hiyo pia ni kama ni kama na huyu mbili kama anaelewa nini anasema yeah. but you're not saying amen lakini sasa noti huna you are window shopping in church you go back home inside. empty unaenda nyumbani kikapu kikavu praise <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That is true. Hiyo ni kweli kabisa. Amen. When the angel goes back to heaven. Sasa malaika akienda mbinguni, he is doing a reconciliation. Anafanya reconciliation ya sasa anafanya anaangalia the blessings stock. that were delivered. Anaangalia baraka ambazo stock alipeana. Versus the amens that he collected. Na amen alizopokea. The sasa. mathematics must balance. Na ni lazima hesabu hizo kwa Jehovah zitoshane. Have I convinced you to say amen sasa, to the word? Tumekubaliana tutasema amen. <laughs> amen. 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 Praise amen. the Lord. Glory be to amen. God. Amen. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Amen. So by God's grace. Sasa kwa neema na msaada wa Mungu. We have wangu. a subject this uh, morning. Eh somo letu asubuhi leo and uh, the, the subject is tunalo somo ambalo ni the last thing ile cha mwisho is his divine presence kile cha mwisho ni uwepo wake yeye Mungu uwepo wa Mungu the last thing kile cha mwisho kabisa is his divine presence ni uwepo wake wa kiungu praise okay. the name of the lord bwana asifiwe sana the very last thing yani kile cha mwisho baada ya yote mm. It is his divine presence. And this this subject is taken from a quote. Hili somo tumetoa kwenye nukuu fulani. Eh in slide 153. Hebu tuone hapo. In Jehovah Jireh. Katika ujumbe wa Jehovah Jireh. Where the prophet is saying, Mahali hapa nabii anaposema hivi. Now remember. Sasa kumbuka hivi. That Christ is risen from the dead. Kristo amefufuka toka kwa wafu and is among us. Na sasa yuko miongoni mwetu. And get that in your mind. Na ulishike hilo ni yani Christ raised from the dead. Ushike kwamba Kristo alifufuka toka kwa wafu. 
and is among us. Na yuko miongoni mwetu. Get it in your mind. Ishike hilo niani kabisa. Then he says there are some conditions we are to watch out for. Anasema kuna hayo masharti lazima tuangalie sana. After those conditions have passed. Baada hayo masharti hapa baada ya hali hizo kuwa zimepita. The last thing hizo zikisha pita hizo cha mwisho we are supposed to watch out for ambacho tunapasa kuwa tukiangalia and he says is in 154 hebu tuone hapa that 154 we have seen all kinds of great moves sasa tumeona mienendo ya, mikubwa ya kila aina and shouting na kupaza sauti and praising na god na mungu all fine hayo yote sawa we spoke in tongues and prophesied nimi tumeongea nazo tumetabiri and all hayo yote we have seen all that hayo yote tumeshaona so after pentecostal manifestation are passed baada ya hayo madhihirisho ya kipentecoste kuisha after we have had pentecostal revivals baada ya kuwa na buvio za kipentecoste after they have come and passed baada ya hizo buvio kuja na kupita and we have seen them haven't we we have seen them they have come and they have passed tumekuja zimefifia zimeisha even in the message of the hour hata humu katika ujumbe wa wakati ndani they have come and they have passed uvio hizo zimekuja zimekwisha and he says that is fine hiyo ni sawa that comes right along with it hayo pia yanaandamana na hili then he says kisha anasema from there tangu hapo remember lakini kumbuka the last thing kitu cha mwisho amen is his divine presence ni uwepo wake wa kiungu the last thing cha mwisho is his divine presence ni uwepo wake wa kiungu the word itself neno lenyewe He is the word. The head. The word. Coming to the body. Na kinakuja ama linakuja kwa mwili. The last thing. Kitu cha mwisho. Hallelujah. Is his divine presence. Ni uwepo wake wa kiungu. Amen. And that is what I would like us to Sasa, share about. Hapo ndipo kwa neema ya Mungu tunashiriki. This Amen. morning. Praise the name of Amen. the Lord. Bwana asifiwe sana. I think when you see that the title is coming from the message. Ukiona kwamba hii ni nukuu direct. Now you can relax. Sasa si unaweza tulia usisahau kutulia tu sasa. And swallow. Sasa meza bila wasiwasi. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe sana. Now. Sasa It's good to understand what is divine presence. Ni vizuri tuelewe hii divine presence inamaanisha nini hasa? Divine presence. Uwepo huu wa kiungu divine presence maana yake the word hii, divine. Hili neno divine. It means God. Maana yake ni kwamba Mungu himself. Mwenyewe. Amen. God himself. Mungu mwenyewe. So divine presence. Kwa hiyo divine presence is the presence ni kuwapo of god kwa mungu himself mwenyewe amen praise the name of the lord now the presence of god sasa uwepo wa mungu is different ni tofauti from what we call you know we learned in CRE that god is everywhere unajua tuliambiwa CRE ati oh mungu yuko kila mahali <laughs> God is everywhere. Mungu yuko kila mahali tuliambiwa. God is omnipotent. Tukaambiwa Mungu ana uwezo wote. God is omniscient. Anajua yote and God is omnipresent. Na ati yuko kila mahali. So omnipresent. Sasa huku omnipresent yuko kila mahali would mean anything anywhere. Ingemaanisha chochote, popote is in the presence of God. Kiko mahali Mungu yuko wherever it is. Kokote kilicho. That is what the word omnipresent. Hiyo ndio maana ya moja kwa moja ya omnipresent would mean hiyo ndio ingemaanisha now that's okay to pass CRE hiyo ni sawa kupita mtihani wa CRE but according to the message Lakin, of the hour kulingana na ujumbe wa wakati god has a specific presence mungu ana kuwepo fulani ana kuwepo that presence fulani. is not everywhere na uwepo huo hauko kila mahali god is not omnipresent mungu hayuko kila mahali there's a specific place kuna mahala fulani that is called in the presence ambapo panaitwa of god uwepo ni wa mungu haleluya praise the name of the lord asifiwe sana says is in slide 17 anasema hili i said nikasema he is not omnipresent slide ye, 17 yeye sio omnipresent he is not omnipresent yeye sio omnipresent in the way that the word speaks omnipresent katika maana ya moja kwa moja ya omnipresent he cannot be a being kwa sababu hawezi kuwa mtu mwenye umbo and then be omnipresent alafu awe kila mahali if he is omnipresent kama yuko kila mahali Why would you pray for the Holy Spirit? Mbona basi uombe Roho Mtakatifu umpate? Because it means kwa sababu inamaanisha basi as long as you exist mradi upo 
you are in the presence of the Holy Spirit because he is omnipresent. But he says, if he is omnipresent, why would you pray for the Holy Spirit? If he is omnipresent, then it means he feels every crack, corner, crevice, every cell, fiber, everything else there is. I said, then, why did he hunt for Moses if he is a prisoner? omnipresent why did he run up and down the garden of Eden crying Adam Adam where are thou if he is omnipresent he is omnipresent because he is omniscient kwa sababu anajua mambo yote and he knows everything because he's infinite and being infinite makes him omnipresent being omnipresent then being infinite listen 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 he sits in the heavens so he has a specific place where he sits kuna mahali fulani ambapo yeye hukaa he is a person. Yeye ni mtu. The God we worship is a person. Mungu tumwabuduye ni mtu. He sits in a specific place. Ukaa mahali fulani. He abides in a place. Yeye ukaa mahali because he is a being. Kwa sababu ni kiumbe, ni mtu. Mhm. Ana umbo. So wherever he sits, basi hapo aketipo. Wherever he sits, popote pale. The being uepo wake. The huyu, divine being. Huyu kiumbe huyu Mungu called God himself. Aitwaye Mungu mwenyewe. Wherever he sits. Popote palipo popote aketipo akaapo. If you are found around there. Ukiweza ujipate karibu na hapo. Then we say you are in his divine presence. Ah, sasa tunasema umefika uepo ni mwake wa kiungu. This is different from the omnipresence of God. Hii ni tofauti na kuwepo kila mahali kwa Mungu. In the omnipresence, katika kuwepo kila mahali. When he is sitting where he sits, akiwa ameketi pale aketipo, he knows the number of hairs on your head. Anajua hesabu ya nywele za kichwa chako. He knows what you are thinking. Anajua unachowazia sasa. He knows where you will be tonight. Anajua usiku wa leo utakuwa wapi. He knows where you will be two years from now. Anajua miaka miwili ijayo utakuwa wapi. So he, he, he is omniscient. Kwa hiyo anajua yote. And that becomes as good as him being everywhere. Na yeye kujua kila kitu ni kana kwamba yuko kila mahali. But literally speaking, lakini kikweli, he is not everywhere. Hayuko kila mahali. He sits in a specific place. Anaketi mahali fulani. That is called the heaven by top of mawinguni and he abides in a place na anakaa mahali because he is a being kwa sababu yeye ni mtu but being infinite lakini akiwa na uwezo wote and he knows all things anajua yote knowing every time and not but it i anajua kila wakati kiroboto afungapo jicho he know every pambo b anamjua kila nyuki where he goes into the comb to get his honey na endapo kutafuta asali yake kwenye kwenye nyumba yake he knows every sparrow anajua kila ndege shomoro that sets in the tree aketie katika kila mti and you can hear believer say all these problems I have it seems that God has forgotten me which God? which God? the one who is supervising a bumblebee getting into a comb to get his honey the one who is making sure a sparrow gets its daily ration of to forget you his son or daughter know you are god know the god that you worship amen he knows every thought that in your mind anajua kila wazo lililoko kwenye akili yako because he is infinite kwa sababu ana uwezo wote and omniscient anajua yote that he not only is infinite ha, hana uwezo wote he is omniscient anajua kila kitu he knows everything anajua mambo yote but he is a being yeye ni mtu god is a being mungu ni mtu you love ana umbo tunampenda amen so god is a being mungu ni mtu who, who sits in a place aketie mahali fulani praise the name of the lord so when we talk about divine 
presence. We are talking about somebody being where God is sitting. The creator of heaven and earth. The God of Genesis. Who said let there be. By whom all things consist. Who holds all the galaxies. And the star systems. They rotate off his hands. Where that man sits. If you are found near there. Can we say. You are in his divine presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And we have a promise. Amen. That the last thing we are going to see. Is his divine presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory to God. So we are told that this God Elohim sits in the heaven. Heavens. Praise the name of the Lord. But we have seen scriptures that are making a certain promise. And it's in, in slide 3 where we've read slide three. That the Lord himself shall descend from where he sits. This being called God shall descend from where he sits. Amen. And when he descends, how will we know he has descended. How will we know that the presence of God has moved from heaven and now is in the earth? The signs we are given, we will look out for a shout. The voice, Sauti. the trump, Baragumu. and all those things are the same. Na hayo yote ni kitu it is the voice of God, ni sauti ya mungu yote. which is the word of Ambayo God. Ni neno na mungu. Praise Hadu. the name of the Lord. In this message, we have the shout, Tunamualiko. we have the voice, sauti. we have the trumpet, Tunamualiko. it is the same word. Yote ni neno moja. When we will hear the voice sauti. of God ya mungu. walking on the earth, then we will know Tutajua. Amen. that the present, the divine presence kwa has shifted. Kumehama. God has changed the place where he sits from the heavens, heavens and has now come Sasa mehama. and is here on the earth. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. One person Tumoja. One man mtumoja, who was very conversant na ufahamu, with the protocols of heaven na 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 biguni, na jinsi ya biguni, was Adam. Because Adam. He, he used to talk with the. He used, he used to be kitchen cabinet. Adam alikuwa ni mtu andani. Every, every evening. Ni kamati andani, kila he was in divine presence. Ana simama mbele ya mungu every mwenye. evening. Kila he was in divine presence. So if there is one person who understood the protocols, it was Adam. Adam. Amen. And Adam knew Adam when he hears the voice of God walking, it simply means God has moved his sitting place from the heavens and is now on the earth. Slide 27, that is why in Genesis 38, Adam was listening after the fall. They had fallen. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Adam did not say I'll wait until I see him. Physically. 
Is that the voice of the Lord walking? Then they ran and they bathed. hid themselves. They didn't hide from the voice. They hid from the presence of the Lord. So Adam knew when you hear the voice of God walking, it means that God himself has shifted his sitting place. He is now here on earth. It means the presence of the Lord is around there. Hallelujah. Amen. So what was Adam looking out for? The voice of the Lord walking. To know where the presence of the Lord is. The voice of the Lord walking. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 That voice is very specific. It says in slide 34. Amen. That Jesus said in St. John 10. Yes, well, say, my sheep know my voice. And then the prophet says, a voice. Sauti. Of course. Bila shaka. Is his word. Amen. When he is speaking. <laughs> okay. So a voice, of course. Is his word. When he is speaking. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you see his word. Walking all over the world. His word walking. It is his voice that is walking. But it is his word that is walking. Because the voice is the word. And as you see later, the voice of God. To human ears. Sounds like thunders. So the voice of God is thunders. Walking. When you hear thunders walking. All over the world. From America to Africa. To Australia to Europe. To Asia to everywhere. The voice of God walking. Then know. That the presence. Of God. Is with us. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. My sheep know my voice. My voice has been proven to them to be true. And it has been vindicated by a pillar of fire that it is my voice. Now, now notice. Amen. They are not subject to following any other voice. They will not. My sheep know my voice. And a stranger, they will not follow. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, Jesus told us in Revelation 3.20 that Amen. he has been kicked out of the church. And he is knocking. Slide 42. Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. Amen. If he didn't say, if any man hear my knock, uh -uh. how could say my ambisho? No. He is knocking. Anabisha. But he says, if any man hear my anasema, voice, yote nini? Sauti yangu. open the door. Afungue mlangu. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifiwe. And the voice is the word. Na sauti ni neno. So if any man hear my word, Basi yote and neno open lango. the door, Afungue mlangu. I will come into him, kwake. and I will sup with him. Itala nae. And he with me. So the voice of God is walking. It is knocking. If you hear it Ukiskia. and open it, Ufungulie. then you receive Christ. Christ. Christ is in you Christ and you are in him. You sup with him. Amen. That is the promise of the day. Songs of Solomon Amen. put it even better. Songs of Solomon. In, slide for, in slide 40. Amen. Amen. I sleep, Nalala. but my heart waketh. It is the voice of my beloved that knocketh. 
So what is knocking? Nini nikinabisha basi? The voice. Ni sauti inabisha. Amen. So when you, when you hear the voice knocking, ukisikia sauti ikibisha, does know the presence of the divine presence. Ujue kwamba uwepo wake kuwepo kwake is around there. Kuko area. And what is the, the voice of my beloved? What is it saying? Na sauti ya mpendwa wangu inasema nini? It is addressing you. Inakuelekea wewe mwenyewe binafsi. Open to me. Nifungulie my sister. Dada yangu, my love. Mpenzi wangu, my dad. Jiwa wangu. By the you men who are not romantic, I don't know who you are copying. Nyinyi wanaume ambao maneno dove muliyasahau class 2. Sijui mnamuiga nani? Tafadhali express your love to your wife. Pata leakage hapa. Pata maneno mwambie mkeo. Yes, see what Christ is doing to his own. Hebu maneno ambayo Kristo anakuambia. Are you going to follow the example of your African chief father and grandfather or the example of Christ? Mfano wa Kristo. Chaguo ni lako. Bas, choose. Choose you this day. Man. Praise the name of the Lord. Bana sifiwe sana. I was about to say something. Haya. What's that? Please husbands let us learn to study. Waume tujifundishe on how to keep our homes. Vitabu viko vya kutoonyesha jinsi ya kuweka boko. And how to keep our wives. Na jinsi ya kuweka wake zetu. Because if you are hoping somebody will help you. Kwa sababu kama unatarajia atakuja mtu akusaidie. The next one you go to. Utakayeenda kwake. Akona zake. That's right. And the next one, and the other one, he's working very hard to put his own together. Everybody is busy. Kila mtu anangangana. So copy, copy Christ to ishi kwa amani. Hapa mfano wazi wazi. Aya, I digress. Let us go back to the voice. Open to me. Nifungulie. My sister. Dada yangu. My love. Mpenzi wangu. My dad. Jiwa wangu. My undefiled. Wangu asiyegoshiwa asiyechafuliwa. For my head is filled with dew. Maana kichwa changu kimejaa na umande. And my locks. Na nywele zangu with the drops. Zimelowa of the seven churches. Na mvua ya kasaba za kanisa. <laughs> of the night nimepigwa na mvua na baridi nimeumbizwa sana huko katika nyakati saba za makanisa right. i've suffered nikiwa nje bwana mm nikachukuliwa nikawekwa kwa katoliki nikahepa i was taken into the catholic church yani nilipewa tena wakanichukua kaniweka kwa kanisa ya lutheran nikahepa tena wakachukua kaniweka kwa wesi they took put me in mercy nika manage kuponyoka i was able to escape tena nikaingia kwa pentecost nikafikiri sasa tuko sawa and i thought i was mara wakanichukua kaniweka kwa assembly kwa full gospel kwa pg kwa hii Nimechapwa sana usiku. Nimeumia. Mpenzi wangu. My love. Tafadhali. Open for me. Nifungulie. Open for me. Amen. That's right. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. Amen. The voice. Sauti. Sauti declares. Inatangaza the divine presence. Ukuwepo kwake kuko hapa. That is what I am saying. Hiyo ndio ninasema. The voice. Sauti of God. Ya Mungu declares. Inatangaza his divine presence. Uwepo kwake kuko hapa. So if we have the last thing is his divine presence. Basi kama cha mwisho ni uwepo wake, then the last thing we must receive. Nikusema cha mwisho chetu kupokea. For the rapture to go. Ili unakuwa uende. Is the voice of God. Ya Mungu. And when we hear the voice of God. Sauti ya Mungu. Walking. Ikitembea. Hallelujah. Then we know that his sitting place has shifted. Normally he sits in the heavens. But if we hear his voice here, it means he has shifted his sitting place. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And when he sh- you know God loves noise. Unajua Mungu anapenda mahali kuko na activity na kelele. 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 Mm, anapenda kelele. Kelele inafurahisha. Sisemi jambo kuhusu wewe ambaye unapenda kimya. I'm not talking about you who is a but I'm just saying God God loves noise. Nasema tu Mungu anapenda kelele. So wherever God is. Mahali Mungu yupo. Holy 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 holy. Holy 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 holy. Holy 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 holy. Takatifu mtakatifu. Ali ali aliumba cherubims. He created cherubims. Aka set volume and he set the volume na aka set record and he set the record na akatupa remote and then he threw away the remote holy 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 takatifu mtakatifu anapenda kukaa hivyo he loves it that way 
Amen. So if you appear in heaven, ukijipata binguni basi and you find it silent, upate kimya. Ah. Kimya binguni. He is not there. Hayuko huko. Wewe ujue tu hayuko. Amen. Hallelujah. I hope mnanionea 18. Are you getting me? Very good. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Bana sifiwe sana. So when there is silence in heaven, ukipata binguni kimya for the space of half an hour. Kitambo cha nusu saa. God cannot stay in heaven when it is silent. No, that's not his environment. Hiyo si mazingira yake. Amen. Hallelujah. Moses built a silent tabernacle for God in the wilderness. Musa alimjengea madhabahu kimya jangwani Mungu. Only the priest would come and offer their prayers. Ni tu angekuja na toa maombi yake sana. Anaweka mkate anabadilisha mkate wa Yesu. Anaweka mkate anabadilisha mkate wa Yesu. The priest goes in once in a year. Ni kuwa anaingia ndani pale mara moja kwa mwaka. It was okay but God was not enjoying. Nilikuwa sawa lakini ni sawa tu yani kwa sasa. So when Solomon built the temple, yes, Solomon alipojenga, God told Solomon, akamwambia Solomon, in addition to everything you are going to do, kila kitu, put singers and instrumentalists to play day and night in the temple. Waimbaji na wacheza mziki, wacheze kila siku na I don't wambe. sit in silent Kinata. environments. Siwezi kama mahali kimya hivyo. Okay. So if it is silent in heaven, God is not there. Mungu hayuko huko. Hayuko huko. Amen. So if you want to know where God is, basi ukitaka kujua mahali huko, you must look for where the voice of God is walking. Tafuta mahali sauti ya Mungu inatembea. And where the voice of God is walking. Na mahali sauti ya Mungu inatembea. The voice of God here on earth, sauti ya Mungu huko duniani, is called thunders. Inaitwa thunders, ngurumo. So if you see basi ukiona silence in heaven kimya binguni thunders on earth gurumo duniani then you know where god is unajua basi mungu yuko wapi amen praise the name of allah sifiwe please know tafadhali jua that god needs you kwamba mungu anakuhitaji sana to make the noise upige kelele for him umpigie kelele oh, he's not in heaven hayuko binguni he's here among his bride so as you walk unapotembea remember to see oh jehovah i love you jehovah nakupenda i exalt you nakuinua holy at thou there is no god other than thee hakuna mungu kuliko oh lily of the valley wewe yuki yuko so sharon you are alpha and omega alpha na omega make the noise he wants it he needs it kelele inamfurahisha anahitaji hallelujah Hey, because his divine presence maana uwepo wake wa kiungu is here uko huku and the people who normally have that jd na watu ambao wana kazi hiyo they are quiet wamenyamaza watu wenye kazi ya kumfurahisha wako kimya mzee alitoroka because ceo hayuko huko hawakujua ameenda wapi and they don't know where he went Haya. amen hallelujah So we are looking for the voice of God. Tunatafuta nini? Sauti ya Mungu. Slide 29. Amen. The prophet tells us. Nabii anatuambia, I am just your brother. Mimi ni ndugu yenu tu by the grace of God. Kwa neema ya Mungu. But when the angel of the Lord moves down. Lakini malaika wa Bwana anapoteremka. It becomes then. Inafanyika sasa a voice of God. Sauti ya Mungu to you. Kweli. Okay. Amen. Okay. Maybe if I offended you by saying that. Kama nimekukwaza kwa kusema hivyo. Forgive me. Nisamehe. But I felt that might that might have been reserved. Lakini nimehisi kwamba labda hilo limekataliwa na mtu. But hata kama mkikataa. Eh. Hey. I am God's voice to you. Mimi mimi sauti ya Mungu kwenu. So if you hear my voice just know that it's the voice of God walking just know that it's the declaration of the presence of God himself here among you when you hear that voice on the table that is the voice of God that is walking amen hallelujah i am God's voice to you mimi ndimi sauti ya Mungu kwenu Then he said I say that again. Amesema narudia. That time was under inspiration. Wakati huu nimesema chini ya uhushu. I felt bad about it the first time. Nilisikia kama nimekosea mara ya kwanza because the son of Charles and Ella Branham. Kwa sababu huyu mwana wa Charles na Ella Branham is not God's voice to you. Yeye si sauti ya Mungu kwenu. 
So when this spoke and inspiration and it said I am God's voice to you even the prophet's own mind was starting to feel bad about what have I just said. But the Holy Spirit said watch him repeat that thing. The I me, me. is not you. It is me who is in you. I am God's voice to you. It is God speaking through this man. Saying, I am God's voice to you. It repeated it. Now you see, I can say nothing in myself. But what he shows me, I say, don't try to understand too much. You just believe it and watch what happens. When you believe it, it will prove itself. You will know the Lord himself has descended and is among the bride. You believe it and watch what happens. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you love the Lord? Amen. Amen. And amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Man, we have the voice of God walking. We have the seven thunders walking. It's in John chapter 12, verse 28. When God, when Jesus was praying, saying, glorify thy name. And, and the voice of God answered, saying, I, I have glorified it. And we have glorified it again. And the people had us thunders. But it was the voice of God. So the voice of God sounds like thunders. And Jesus said that thunder, those thunders, that voice has not come for my sake, but it has come for your sake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We are already very deep in the seventh seal. Praise the name of the Lord. Hapo ndio sasa tuna swim. Eh hapo ndio tunaogelea ndio nyanda zetu. Sasa hii tuko depend as we speak. Sasa tumeshaingia huko. Now. Amen. By a prophecy. Kwa unabii. The prophet said. Nabii anasema. In slide 44. Nabii alisema hivi kwa unabii. We believe there is to be a church. Tunaamini kumepaswa kutakuwa na kanisa in these last days hizi siku za mwisho that will receive both former and latter rain ambalo litapokea mvua ya kupanda na ya kuguna praise the name of the lord bana sifiwe last time we were here we had two papers mara ya mwisho tulipokuwa hapa tulikuwa na karatasi mbili one is former rain hiyo ni mvua ya awali the other one is latter rain mvua ya baadaye karatasi so there will come a church kutaja kanisa that will receive both former itakalopokea ya mwanzo and latter rain ya awali na ya baadaye okay this church will have some characteristics. It will be scattered throughout the world. Praise the name of the Lord. So it will not have designated zones. As we are England, we have Anglican. As we are Italian and Spanish, we are Catholics. We are Latin Americans. We are Catholics. We are Africans. We have witchcraft mixed with many other denominations. No, no, no. This one will not be like that. No, 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 no. This one will be distributed throughout the world. So there will be members in every corner of the world. Okay. This church will be present in the Laodicean age. So while outside is Laodicean condition, while it's total darkness outside, this is when this church will be thriving. When it's a Sodom condition, that will well, that's when this church will be thriving. Throughout the world. Hallelujah. Thriving in the Laodicean age. It will be a church that is called back to the original faith in God. Now, 
taking a church back to the original faith in God is a restoration work of Malachi 4. So this will be a church that has received Malachi 4. Amen. Remember it's a prophecy. Amen. Scattered throughout the world. Thriving in the Laodicean age. A church that has accepted Malachi for. That church. There will be something about it. It will be a church. Hey. That will have Jesus Christ walking in it. Amen. When you will see such a church, a church that has no global headquarters, has no regional headquarters, has no national headquarters, it is just spread throughout the world. In the Laodicean age, and it has received Malachi 4, restored back to the faith of our fathers. When you will see such a church, believe it or not, that will be a church that will have Jesus Christ. Walking in it. Jesus Christ himself. Walking in it. Manifesting himself. And how will you know. The shout of the king. Will be in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The shout of the king. Is also the voice of the king. And when you will hear the shout of the king. Oh no matter your condition. No matter your circumstances, no matter how weak you think you are, don't look at yourself. Look at this prophecy. That when we shall receive Malachi and the shout of the king will be in this church, then just know, remember his divine presence, Jesus Christ himself, will be walking in this church and manifesting himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to when God. When is this going to happen? Hallelujah. Amen. The prophet Nabi gives us a very good sequence of events. Uh-huh. A very good one. In the unveiling of God. Unveiling of God. Slide 48. Amen. He starts with Old Testament and brings it to how it ended up being Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. Then he picks up the New Testament. Then he brings, up chrono- brings us chronologically up to how it will become Jesus Christ again. And what we must look out for. So he says, like he was in Moses. When the word was in Moses, he was God in flesh. When it was in Jesus, it was God in flesh. Only thing he done was change his mask. Not his word, not his nature, because he's the same yesterday, today and forever. He only changed his form. He changed from Noah to Moses. He changed from Moses to David. From David, Joseph, okay, mark the word, on down. Uh, on down. We will, we will need that word on down. Uh, uh, so it came from Old Testament saints. Then on down. down. Till he came into the fullness of the Godhead body. So when it came into the fullness of the Godhead body, that was Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. And once again, God had changed his dwelling place. Because when this one stepped out of the water, Jordan, the heavens opened, and the Lord himself descended and said, this is my beloved son. In him I am pleased to dwell. So I will not sit in heaven. 
Kusema sitaka mbinguni tena. I'm going to sit inside this one. Nitahamia ndani ya huyu. So when you see this one, mkimuona huyu, then that is my divine presence. Huo ni uwepo wangu wa kiungu. Praise the name of the Lord. That is why Philip came to Jesus. Yomana, Philip akaja kwa Yesu. And said, akasema, Jesus of Nazareth. Wa Nazareth. Could you show us the divine presence? Si utuonyeshe uwepo wa kiungu. Amen. Then he's wondering. Anashanga. Philip. Hey Philip bwana. Hizo fellowship zote umekuja. Unaniangusha. All those fellowships. <laughs> Na vitabu vya ujumbe viko kwa kabati in, in, in your house. Full in your house. And still you do not know me. Na bado hujanijua Philip nimekuwa nawe muda wote huu. I am the divine presence. Mimi mwenyewe ndimi uwepo wenyewe wa kiungu. Because the Lord himself. Kwa sababu Bwana mwenyewe dwells in me. Anakaanga ndani yangu. Amen. I don't expect there to be a Philip. Sitarajii kuwe na Philip. Who can see a believer of the message of the hour? Anaweza kuona muumini wa ujumbe wa wakati. And still ask show me the father. Na muulize ati nionyeshe baba. Yaani how? Where he is sitting. Anapoketi. That is the divine presence. Hiyo uwepo wa kiungu. Let me not jump ahead. Wacha tusijitangulie twende. So it came on down down till he comes the godhead bodily. Ikafululiza mpaka ikaja utimu. And it is still the same God. Ne mungu yule yule. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. I hope that gets through. Natumai hiyo imepenya. It is the same God. Ne mungu yule yule. But he just takes on another veil. Amevaa tu utaji tofauti. Okay. Now he Sasa, puts on another veil. Then the prophet now comes to the New Testament. He, says, he did it in the reformers. He taken on a veil. taken on a veil. Until finally it come down. Okay, note the word come down. Hilo neno Through the Lutheran age. Down through the other age. Then finally it comes out into the complete. So what we have today is called the complete. The complete divine presence. The Lord himself present with us is called the complete just before it comes okay, just before the complete a prophet arises again so, this is how to check if his divine presence is about to be with us these are the signals just before it comes a prophet arises again what it does it foreshadows the word showing back here revealing what has been done that is the past in the church ages what has been left off that is the rapture and the millennium Armageddon, whether on judgment and eternity so he takes care of the past and he takes care of the future so you don't worry about those you focus in the moment the big moment is now it is not what has been done it is not what is left it is now but he tells us those things so that the church will not be without understanding then that prophet fades out hallelujah he says when this fades out anasema kisha huyu nabii afifiapo so this prophet who arose huyu nabii aliyeinuka hivyo if you find that man ukimpata huyo the body of that man in a graveyard upate amefifia amelala kaburi in jeffersonville it means that this one who arose has faded out. Yeah, so we are told to watch for that. When this fades out, then like John says, I must decrease. He must increase. Then all in all comes into him. He is fully manifested through Luther, Wesley, and Pentecostal age, and then on down. On down. On down. Na kuendelea. On down the prophet arises. Yaani hiyo on down nabii anainuka. The second on down. On down ya pili the prophet fades out. Nabii anafifia. Hallelujah. Then he is fully manifested. Alafu yeye bwana anadhihirika kikamilifu. Hallelujah. Amen. You 
see calm down just the manifestation God unfolding and then he's asking you do you see him by your eyes of faith do you see him do you see that he is here fulfilled in his promises for this day as they had in the Old Testament we have it now when a prophet arises and then fades out then we have his divine presence with us. did the prophet arise did the prophet fade out then we are living in the days of the complete complete we are living in the days of the all in all coming into him we are living in the days of the full manifestation of Jehovah himself we are living in his divine presence hallelujah amen Amen. When he was answering the questions, he Amen. acted like he's talking about John the Baptist. But if you look between the lines, you'll see the hints that he's not talking about John the Baptist. Yes. In 58 when he says, finally one day, he said, behold, there he is. He's talking about John the Baptist. There is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Then he said, and my time is up now. I have introduced you to him. I must decrease now. I must go off the sea. He will take over from here. The Lord himself will take over from here. And just to confirm to you that it's not about John the Baptist. He says the millennium will be on right away. There was no millennium for John to introduce. John the Baptist a millennium No, so this is another John. And he's telling us his time is up. He has already introduced us to the Lord himself. Hallelujah. And therefore he, ma- he has done his work. So he must decree. He must go off the sea. The one I have introduced you to. If you need a prophet, he will be your prophet. If you need a guide, he will be your guide. If you need to hear from someone, you will hear from him. I have finished my work. He will take over from here. The millennium will be on right away. And the time is at hand. Amen. So this one we are being introduced to. Yeah. He's called the eighth messenger. Yeah. He's the eighth messenger. And eighth means eternity. Because seven is the end. So this is the eternal messenger. The eternal messenger of the covenant. The eternal angel of the covenant. He's called the eighth messenger. That is why you should never settle for any terminal of an eighth messenger. Who is it? No, it's not possible. There are certain qualifications. Kuna qualification fulani kwa CV. Yes, of the eighth messenger. We will not fight with you if you come and tell us you are the eighth messenger. No, 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 no. We'll just do like the pilots do. They go to their file. And they pull out their checklist. They're saying, okay. Eighth messenger is Hatuna shida letters takabani. Haya. Then we start checking. Okay. Uh, 61. 
61. Now listen. This angel come down from heaven. Wewe ulizaliwa Tongaren. Wewe. Ni wa Tongaren. Okay. Tongaren eh? Hiyo tunaona kuna kashida mahali. Ni kama kuna document ulisawa mahali. Hey. This angel, huyu malaika, come down from heaven. Niwakushuka kutoka mbinguni. Different from the other seven angels. Kwa hiyo na malaika wengine saba. The other seven angels. Wale wengine saba. Of the seven churches. Wakati saba, I was hardly. Walikuwa ni wajumbe. Ni malaika ni wajumbe wa kidunia. All we know where he was born. Paulo alikozaliwa tunajua. In Turkey. Turkey. Yes. Irenius we know his place in France. Irenius tunajua alikozaliwa u France. Martin we know where he Martin, was in France. Kwao, in France, France as well. Paulus. Praise the name of the Lord. We know Columbus. Columbus na in Scotland. Tunajua Scotland alikozaliwa. We know Luther in Luther. Germany. Ah, we know Wesley. Wesley in Britain you Wesley can go and you be shown where he was born. We know William Branham. William Branham in Kentucky. Tunajua Kentucky. We even have the picture. Tunayata picture of the small house where he was born. So all of them are earthly messengers. We know their father, we know their mother, we know where they were born, where they grew up. If you check Wikipedia you will find their stories all seven of them this one is not from the earth this one came down from heaven amen 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 but this angel all the message is finished. The seventh angel winds up the whole. Thing. The seventh one. Winds up everything. And then this angel comes. Not to the earth. In human flesh. Katika mwili wa nyama yani. Walking all over. Akitembea tembea all over. Saying Yesu wako na crusade kitengela. Akisema ati Yesu. No such things no. He isn't a man from the earth. Yeye siye mtu wa kidunia. As the messengers to the church ages. Kama vile wajumbe kwa nyakata wa zakani. That is finished. Heyo ya mekwisha wa mekwisha wa. But this angel. Lakini huyo maraika. Brings the next announcement. Zine naleta tangazo lina lofuata. And an angel means a messenger. Na maraika maneke ni mjumbe. So he is a messenger. Ni mjumbe bas. He is the eighth messenger. Ni mjumbe wa nane. The eternal messenger. Ni mjumbe wa mire. He brings the next announcement. Analeta tangazo lina lofuata. And he comes down from heaven. Anatelem katuka pinguni. He changes his sitting place from heaven and comes here among his bride clothed in that pillar of the light cloud with a rainbow over his head and a rainbow is a covenant who was that angel? it was Christ Amen it was Christ with one foot on the land and one on the sea and so that time Time will be no more. Where are we at, sirs? What is all this about? I am asking you. Where are we? We are in his divine presence. We can answer that question. We are in the divine presence of that angel who come down from heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Amen. So he's called the messenger. And every messenger must have a message. The messenger must come with a message. Praise the name of the Lord. So when the prophet of Malachi 4 was about to fade out, he told us Amen. that 66, that same Jesus Christ, 66, is here. Yuko hapa. When he was preaching the token, eh? Alipoku, uh, hii ni token na nakubili. That same Jesus Christ. Huyo, huyo, Yesu Christo. Is here. Yuko hapa. So, the one who has been, pro the one who we were asking in SARS is this the sign. Yule ambaye likuwa nauliza hapo katika mabwana ni sangapi. That this angel will come from heaven. Akisema kuwa mba atakuwa meshuka toka binguni. He arrived. Am, alifika jamani. Yeah. So, the, the same one who told us he is going to come. Yule, yule, alie tuambia ata kuja. Is the same one now telling us. Yeah, he's here. Hey, alifika. Hey, alifika. Yuko apa? He's here. Yuko apa? 
And I had told you he would be the messenger. Na nilikuwa nimewaambia atakuwa mjumbe. Si ndio. He will come with a new announcement. Na atakuja na tangazo linalofuata. He is the messenger. Yeye ndiye mjumbe. Amen. Hallelujah. He is the messenger. Yeye ndiye mjumbe. He is here. Yuko hapa. But if you want to know what he is saying. Lakini ukitaka kujua anachosema. Here is the message. Ujumbe wake ndio huu. Oh glory to God. Bwana sifiwe. He is the messenger. Yeye ndiye mjumbe. That is the one. Huyo wa nani? But if you want to know what he is saying. Ukitaka kujua anachosema. If you want to know his message. Ukitaka kujua ujumbe wake. Here is the message. Ndio huu ujumbe wake. And when you take this message. Na ukichukua ujumbe huu. He is the messenger. Yeye ndiye mjumbe. He had to identify na yuko hapa his message. Kudhibitisha ujumbe huu. He is here to make sure once you accept his message that it must take effect in your life. Ujumbe huu utafanya kazi maishani mwako. That you will see changes in your life. That you will see miracles in your life. Kwa miujiza maishani mwako. Hallelujah. And that will identify na hilo litatambulisha na message you receive. Kwamba ujumbe uliopokea is not from man. Si wa kutoka kwa mwanadamu. Not from an earthly messenger. It is from that heavenly messenger. He is here to identify his message. But you have to recognize first that this message is from that messenger. Hallelujah. Amen. Then he says, I am not the messenger. Mimi si the messenger. So if you attack William Branham online. Kwa hiyo kama kazi yako ni kushambulia William Branham online. And say that he mixed this date. Na kusema alichanganya tarehe hii. And he mixed this date. Na haikorroborate na hii tarehe. And this one is not matching with this hii one. Hii haingiani na hii. I'm not moved. Mimi hunibabaishi. Honestly I'm not moved. Kusema kweli hunibabaishi hata. Amen. My messenger. Mjumbe wangu Came, came down from heaven alikotoka ni mbinguni on mount sunset akateremka mlima sunset and he spoke a message akanena ujumbe here is the message ujumbe huo ndio huu i received the message nikaupokea i believed the message nikauamini kumbe he was just standing nearby ala kumbe huyu alikuwa anasimama tu karibu naye waiting for me to believe the message alikuwa anasimama karibu tu akiongoja ni ni he indicated his message mara moja akaudhibitisha he identified his message akausambulisha in my life katika maisha yangu praise the name of the lord so mine langu basi can't be searched on the internet haliwezi likatu wangu hawezi kusomeka internet hayuko wikipedia ama kwingine And that one who are busy googling na huyu ambaye unamtafuta sana he saying i am not the messenger ana ameshasema mimi si mjumbe ni kama ni kama amejitoa by the way amejiondoa tu i am not the messenger mimi si mjumbe he is the messenger yeye ndiye mjumbe and he is the messenger yeye ndiye mjumbe and this is the message he says na huyu ndio ujumbe He is the messenger he's repeating. Yeye ndiye mjumbe. And this is the message. Na huyu ndiye ujumbe. I mean if you have got a spirit, kama una roho. Listen, listen, listen. Sana. If you've got a spirit, kama una roho. That is agrees with that. Ya kinyume. How can it be the messenger of the message? Inawezaje kuwa ndiye mjumbe wa ujumbe? Okay. Meaning, maana yake that if you have a spirit, kama unaye roho that agrees with that, anayekubaliana na hiyo, then basi It is the messenger. Huyo ndiye huyo roho of the message. Huyo roho ndiye mjumbe wa ujumbe. Saying amen. Anasema amen. You can't say amen to this message. Maana huwezi sema amen kwa ujumbe huu. It has to be the messenger. Lazima iwe ni mjumbe of the message. Kwa ujumbe agree with his own word. Na ujumbe wake na neno lake. The messenger. Ujumbe amen. Akikubaliana his own message. Na ujumbe wake. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And that is called the token. Hiyo inaitwa ndio ishara, ndio token. If the messenger kama mjumbe is in you, yuko ndani yako. Agreeing akikubaliana with the message. Na ujumbe. That's the token. Hiyo ndio token. Amen. Amen. Only the token. Ni token tu. Will identify. Itamtambulia, itamtambua. And the prophet says. Na nabii anasema hivi. Amen. Amen. 
and the children of God say Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. That is why in this message we do not have a space for celebrity preachers. We do not have a space for big ministries and men who exalt themselves and men who personalize the revelation of the word. We know our messenger. Amen. He will not share his glory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. May the Lord help us. Amen. Amen. If you try those Pentecostal shenanigans in this message, of trying to become a big name in the message of the hour, you will see what will happen. God will either destroy your ministry completely or take you home. We are not joking this time now. This is the ministry of the heavenly messenger. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. There's a small message book I love. You can listen to it in the week. I would recommend it. It's about one hour and seven minutes. It's called Discernment of the Spirit. Please, I would, I would highly recommend. He will not share his glory. The prophet says in that message that if you have a gift and you choose to use it in this time to exalt yourself, it had better you never attempted to stand before the children of God. That heavenly one, he is the messenger. He is among us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Yes, this is his own age. And he has a plan for this age. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let me get a quote here that has come to mind. That says that in, 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 in 2, 224. Amen. The Lutherans under justification, Walutheli. the feet raised like that. Walutheli. Wesley Walutheli. under sanctification, Walutheli. the Pentecostals Walutheli. under the arms, the works and deeds and so forth. Mm. Had to be Calvinist, had to be Arminian, had to be legalist. But now we come to the head, the capstone, grace, grace, the capstone cried, the headstone crying what? Grace, grace, passed from death and creed into a living word of God. I want to show you the messenger of our age. And the prophet says there, God's only provided plan for his age. So we had the Lutheran age, the Wesleyan age, the Pentecostal age, and then God's own age. You are blessed to have appeared in God's age. And God's age is called the word age. Not just the word. Word age quickened by the spirit. The word quickened by the spirit. John 1.1 H. John 1.1. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He is the messenger. He is God. It is God's own age. Praise the name of the Lord. That is why the devil today. That's right. He will allow you to do your religion. He will allow you. He will allow you to be a believer. He will allow you to lengthen your dress. Keep your hair long as a sister, short as a brother. And do everything else. But there is one thing he will not easily let you. Is to believe and accept that the Lord Himself is here with us. 
that when you go to pray, you don't pray to a God who is far in heaven. And you are saying that your prayers are not reaching the ceiling. Na unasema ati maombi yako ati anakuamia tu hapa kwa ceiling. Maombi yako ikienda huko ceiling imepotea bwana. Huko hakuna mtu. Kama tangent yake ni huko, ah ah ndugu, angalia strategy tena bwana. Hakuna mtu huko. Hakuna mtu na huku. Huko ni kimya. That's huko the silence in heaven bro. Huko maombi ikifika itapokelewa, itaangaliwa. Eh yeah, itaenda registry bwana file itakaa huko ingoje mwenye. Iandikwe hapo yes. letter sent to previous address. Yes. Umetuma anwani isiyo. Believe in his presence. Amini katika kuwepo kwake. Amen. Talk to him like he's right next to you. Unapoongea naye, hebu ongea naye ni kama yuko hapo hapo. Cause he is. Kwa sababu kweli yupo hapo. He is actually even closer. In fact, hata yuko karibu zaidi than being next to you. Kulipo kando yako. Because if you have something in you. Kwa sababu kama una kitu ndani yako. That is saying amen to the message. Kinachokubaliana na ujumbe. It means it's that message. Ina maanisha ni huyo mjumbe in you. Akiwa ndani yako. Saying amen to his own message. Akisema amen kwa ujumbe wake. So you are praying to somebody in you. Unayemuomba ni mtu wako ndani yako. Amen. And Amen. that day you will know. I am in the Father, the Father in the Father, 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 Father in the Father. I in you. Mimi in the And you in me. Yani ndani yangu. You are one. Yani ninyi na yeye. With the person you are praying. Wewe ni mmoja na yule unayemuomba. Have a conversation. Kuwa basi na mazungumzo. He is your friend. Yeye ni rafiki yako. Rafiki yako. He is your lover. Ni mpenzi wako. Closer than anybody you can imagine. Ni karibu kuliko yeyote unayeweza kumwazia. But the devil wants to keep us away from that. Anataka tuweke mbali na hicho. He wants to use our religion. Anataka tumie dini yetu to keep us away from that recognition. Kutuweka mbali na utambuzi huo. Because others have said they felt this. Kwa sababu wengine wanasema ah mimi nilihisi hivi. They saw this. Mimi niliona hivi. This happened. Hili lilifanyika. They rolled. They shouted. They spoke in tongues. There was this and there was that. You haven't experienced it. Ati wewe hujapata hayo yote unashangaa. Unaona wale huwa anaishi na Mungu. Sasa unaona wale Mungu anakaa kwao. May God have mercy on us. Mungu atuhemie sana. That's the devil. Huyo ni shetani. Ndiye anafanya hiyo. Ni style yake hiyo. Preventing you. Akijaribu akuzuie from recognizing usitambue the presence of God here. Uwepo kwa Jehovah pamoja nasi. Amen. Looking at your own faults and mistakes. Ukiangalia makosa yako mwenyewe na upungufu wako na yale umefanya. Feeling guilty for repented sins. Yaani unajilaumu na makosa uliyotubu zamani. If you ever feel guilty for a sin you have repented that's not God that's the devil. Angalia. Ukipata unajilaumia kosa ambalo umeshatubia huyo si Mungu ni shetani. That is guilt the devil using your conscience. Ni shetani akitumia dhamiri yako to torment you with guilt. Akutese na lawama kujilaumu. That's from the devil. Hiyo inatoka kwa shetani because as soon as it's repented. Mara ikishatubiwa it is not in the records of heaven. Haiko kwenye rekodi ya mbinguni tena. It cannot be God. Na kwa hiyo haiwezi kuwa ni Mungu na kwa hiyo. Hiyo ni shetani na. So if he uses that. Anatumia hiyo to write yourself off kujiondoa kwenye picha hiyo unasema ah hiyo ni ya kina fulani and imagining you cannot be in the presence of god na kudhania mimi siwezi fika uponi mwa mungu because you are this kwa sababu niko hivi and you are not na, this na siko vile and you did this na nilifanya hiki you did not do siku this siko kile and your history is this na mimi nilizaliwa and your weaknesses are na this na yale nimepitia ni haya that is the devil na again na wako huyo ni shetani amen amen those are called gates of hell hizo hizo zinaitwa malango ya jehanamu One right. is on this extreme. Moja upande huu is religion. Dini. Some of us our holiness. Baadhi yetu is a gate of hell. Shida yetu ni utakatifu wetu, ni lango la jehana mtakatifu. So because you are holy, kwa sababu wewe ni mtakatifu, you will never be needy before God. Utawahi kuwa muhitaji, unahitaji nini kwa Mungu? Uko sawa? You don't do you don't do you don't do Ufanyagi hivi hutelezangi hapa huo the pastor needs to be doing a better job Pastor hata anapasa kuwa hata pastor anapasa a up his game in straightening this church Kusaidia kanisa hili kuwa watakatifu no, na ingeanga hiyo kanisa naona tu mwenye dhambi mwenye dhambi mwenye dhambi Yaani nikiingia tu naona kwa nini rapta haijafika tu nasema ai Kwa ni safari ya mbinguni tuliacha kwenda yeah. I even wonder yani where, where are people going is it heaven That's a Pharisee demon and it's dangerous. It will send many people to hell. Pepo anaitwa wa Kifarisayo na yuko kazi atatuma watu wengi jehanam wengi tu. Amen. That's right. You will never see the presence of God like that. Utawahi kuona uwepo wa Mungu ukiwa na hali hiyo. Utawahi. That's right. 
Amen. When Peter realized that he is standing in the presence of Peter God. Peter When he told him what have you been doing here? We have been fishing. The whole night you didn't get anything. Try that side. He tried. He brought a whole load of fish. He did not celebrate the catch. He realized in whose presence he is standing. And he fell and said, Let the person be on. For I am a sinner. Amen. 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 So there are many gates of hell. Actually, there's a quote here from the message I had just mentioned. 16, 16, 69 says, Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. Amen. But my father, we are in 69, but my father which is in heaven has revealed this to you. Amen. And upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell can't prevail against it. We'll never be able to prevail. It shows that they will be against it. Okay. Now, watch and see where the gates of hell is against. It isn't against the denomination. The government recognizes that. It ain't. The world recognizes our denominations, all of them. We have the right, each one of us as American citizens. We have the rights of denomination. Which is fine. We appreciate that. But that's not what the gates of hell is against. It is against the spiritual revelation of Christ being here now. This is what hell will not allow you to accept. The gates of hell are against the spiritual revelation of Christ being here now. The same yesterday, today, and forever. That is what it is against. The gates of hell shall be against it, but it shall never prevail. Amen. If you are a predestinated seed of God, it shall never prevail. God must bring you to the recognition of the divine presence of Christ being here now. Amen. And this is no matter your circumstances. Amen. 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 It doesn't matter. You recognize the presence, take your circumstance, and put it in his presence. You wait and see what will happen. Prophet has said, believe it, then watch what happens. Yes. And over Easter, we were with the youth here. And we said, no matter what it is, present it in the presence of the Lord. As long as you are a predestinated seed. The rod of Aaron, no matter how dry it was, it was as dry as all the other rods. But it was a predestinated rod. And immediately it was in the presence of God. It bloomed. And the prophet said in the, in the quote we read that time, no matter what it is, Amen. No matter what you have done and tried to quit and you cannot quit. Introduce the presence of the Lord in your life. Amen. Amen. Doesn't matter what you think you have done too long. And in the quote we saw, even LGBTQ, LGBTQ na believers, you are not immune from those spirits. But you also have a power Lakini to overcome them. 
In the code the prophet says even if you have perverted your natural resources Sasa kama umepindua chemichemi zako za kimwiza kawaida That is LGBTQ si isn't it? LGBTQ. The prophet said bring it. Nabii akasema hata hiyo leta. We bring it leta. Leta bring it. We acha ipambane na hii tuone. Let it struggle. Let it fight again. Kwa ni kwa nini? Which is this demon? Kwa nini pepo gani? That can contest with our heavenly messenger. Ana anaweza kushindana na baba yetu wa mbinguni ni nani ni yupi? Pepo gani? Iko nini? Eh hey, which one is it? Bring it. Yes. That's right. Bring it into the presence. Ilete uweponi. The divine presence. No matter what it is. Because here we are told hell will try. But it will not prevail. But what hell will be fighting? Is the spiritual revelation of Christ being here now. The same yesterday, today and forever. Hallelujah. Amen. And do you remember in Christ the mystery of God revealed? Why do you hunger church? Why do you thirst? It is the Father trying to reveal this mystery to you. Which mystery? The mystery of Christ being here with us now. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. In the days after the seals are open, katika siku hizi baada ya mihuri kuwa imefunguliwa, as a prophecy from the prophet, kama unabii kutoka kwa nabii, those are the days when Jesus Christ will be here. Hizo ndizo siku ambazo Yesu Kristo atakuwa yuko huku. Amen. Could we read? Hebu tusome. In Ephesians chapter slide 81, katika kizazi cha Efeso He was saying it as a prophecy. Because the seals had not been opened. And he says, Anasema, and I say to this to you people here, you Catholic people, to you Lutheran, to you Methodist, so forth. It was not gift to Martin Luther. Hiyo haikupewa kwa Martin Luther. The light that is on the word today. Ile nuru iliyoko kwenye neno leo. And if you, if you listened to evening lights on Friday evening then you will understand this event Sasa utaelewa hii hata bora. Kama kaida yako ni kumiss fellowship pole. Kuna kitu itakupita. Yes. Amen. Neither was it gift to John Wesley. Na wala haikupeanwa kwa John Wesley. John Wesley preached sanctification that Luther passed over. John Wesley alihubiri kutakaswa ambako Luther hakufikia and the light comes as we have need of light. Na nuru inakuja tunavyohitaji. Eh, inavyohitajika. Amen. That's right. Lutherans had no rapture to go to. Lu walutheri hawako wanyakulibe. They had no resurrection to bring about. Hawakuwa wafufuwe watu. They had no speaking condition to get. wanene mambo yawepo. They didn't need a body change. Hawakuhitaji kubadilishwa mwili. They didn't have the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. Hawakuwa walete madhihirisho ya wana na binti za Mungu. So they got light just for their day. Kwa hiyo walipata kiasi cha nuru cha kutoshana na siku yao na haja yake. So we must look at the need of our day. Tuangalie haja ya siku yetu. For us to know the kind of light we are going to receive. Tutakayoipokea. Because the light that is on the word it comes as we have need of light. And God says it. It isn't opened up to us because it is hid to our eyes until the day that God is able to reveal it. This is before the seas were opened. So it's prophetic. So we will not receive the opening of the seals. Because it is hid to our eyes. Until the day that God is able to reveal it. Then this man who was about to as supposed to fade out says I wonder what it will be after we leave. Nashangaa tutakapoondoka. Yaani baada ya kufeda utakuwa na madhara. Yaani sisi tukiondoka haya. When we leave, ile utukufu tutawaachia yani. Yaani the glory we will leave you. I wonder how it will be. Nashangaa tu. Amen. Then he says, anasema I am yes I'm persuaded ninasadiki that there is very very much more kuna zaidi na zaidi na zaidi sana that we know nothing about ambayo hatujayajua hata So where is the much more contained? Hayo mengi zaidi na zaidi yako wapi? There is seven seals. Kunazo mihuri saba. 
If we just take the complete book of Revelation that is sealed on the back of the book isn't written in the book. Them seals are to be opened during this church the seven last mysteries of God to be made known. I would like to keep it to all winter and go through it. Yes, sir. The seven church ages. Now listen. As Daniel had the seven thunders kama vile Daniel alisikia ngurumo saba and forbidden na akakatazwa you know Daniel had the seven thunders we unajua Daniel alisikia seven thunders he had the seven thunders alisikia but he was told to shut up those Akabio words akaambiwa hiyo maneno ficha bwana and go alale na wazee wenza alale that. sleep with your age and this and John had the voices nae John akazisikia sauti so John also had the thunders pia nae John alisikia ngurumo And we have read in the scriptures he was forbidden to write this book was sealed and the back of the book was sealed with seven seals but in the days of these seals be to be opened the mystery of god would be finished hold the quote but when are the days when the mysteries of god is to be finished is in the days of the voice of the seventh angel so in the days of the voice of the seventh angel those will be the days when these seals are supposed to be opened because both events result in the mystery of god being finished amen amen Amen. In other words, yani, God would be known to his church. Mungu atajulikana kwa kanisa lake. We will understand John 1:1. One, one. Tutaelewa John 1:1 kabisa. We will be taken back to the banister. Tutarudishwa kwenye banister tutaona lile ono la banister. We will understand words like enmorphe. Tutaanza kuelewa maneno fulani fulani kama vile enmorphe. Kenos. Kenos. Logos. Logos. Theophany. Theophany. Melchizedek. Melchizedek all those fullness of god had bought that is the mystery of god being finished amen hallelujah so the mystery of god would be revealed and when all that was completely revealed then the seven mysteries would open to the church do we have mysteries Are they open? Zimefunguliwa sasa hizo. So there are no mysteries. Kwa hizo siri hatuna tena. We have what used to be mysteries. Kile tulicho nacho wakati mmoja kiliitwa mysteries. Yes, what used to go by the name mysteries. Kuna wakati kiliitwa mysteries. But now tunaziongeanga tu hapa tu kwa pulpit. Sasa hivi hayo mambo si mystery tena haya tunayaongea sasa hapa. Yaani mystery revealed. Siri zilizofunuliwa sasa. And when it is spoken here. Zikinenwa hapa. Or you read it in the message. Ama ukizisoma kwenye kitabu cha There is a supernatural element. Kuna hali fulani ya kiungu that is left of that mystery. Inayosalia ya siri hiyo. That God communes with you secretly. Ambayo hiyo mnaongeaga na Mungu mnanongonezana kivyeni. In your private chamber. Katika chumba chako cha siri. Oh, I wish you could have time to get to the tent vision. Because the logos logos is on top of the small tabernacle of the third pool you enter there individually you enter there with the one and then that light comes over that one and reveals to you a supernatural element of the mysteries of god in the name of the lord Hallelujah. then what were mysteries you become part of it to the world there are still mysteries of god but you are one of them you are one of the mysteries because the prophet says this great mystery is unfolded and placed in the heart of the believer <laughs> amen When that was completely revealed then the seven mysteries would open to the church. Because in there the church would be living. This is what will happen after the seals are open. In there the church will be living under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Him moving in and, and showing his signs of being alive among us. Living among us. We are then worshiping na wakati huo tunamwabudu the living Christ. Mungu Kristo aliye hai. Aliyeko miongoni mwetu. When that day comes. 
when that day comes and the seven seals are open, we will no longer worship a Jesus Christ who is far from us. We will no longer worship a Jesus Christ with nails cast seated in heaven. We will be worshiping the living Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. That is among us. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why when the thunders went forth, that's called the seventh seal. Thunders are contained in the seventh seal. So when the seventh seal goes off, heaven is silent because God has left heaven. Earth has noise. It has spiritual disturbance because seven thunders utter their voice. And there is a lot of disturbance with the seven thunders. When the seven thunders utter their voices, it's a lot of noise. Unveiling of God is the seal. Who is this Melchizedek? Communion. The mighty God unveiled before us. It's the rising of the sun. There is a lot going on with it. That is the seventh seal. And those are the seven thunders. Amen. It is the voice of God walking in the garden. Please know that we are in the presence of God. Unlike Adam, who had separated himself by sin, Jesus Christ died on Calvary and paid that debt. Today, when you hear the voice of God walking in the garden, run towards the presence. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And if you are a predestinated seed and you do not want to run towards the presence, the same cherubims who had been placed on the east side of the garden with flesh Flaming swords to keep away anybody from the presence of the Lord. Today, the same cherubims have been instructed. If you don't want to run to the presence with the same sword to run you into that presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If your job is stopping you from running into the presence, the Kerubim must make sure you get fired. If you can't close your business to attend fellowship, fellowship. just know that the Kerubim are caught up around you as well. You will shut down that business and you must run to the presence. Amen. Because it is going home time. The seventh seal. It is the coming of the Lord. But it is also the going of the bride. Amen. 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 It says as follows. This seventh seal. 91. God's great mystery of how it's a secret. He kept it a secret. Nobody knows nothing about it. Even the angels didn't understand it. He didn't reveal it. That's the reason and our seventh mystery. When the seventh seal was opened, there was silence. Jesus, when he was on earth, they wanted to know when he would come. He said, even the son himself don't know when it's going to happen. Jesus, when he was on, okay, even the son himself don't know when it's going to happen. 94. God has this all to himself. It is a secret. And that's the reason there was silence in heaven. For the space of half an hour, that is heaven. Seven thunders utter their voices. That is here on earth. John was even forbidden to write. What was John forbidden to write? The coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So what are the seven thunders? The coming of the Lord. And the Lord himself shall descend. Amen. But the coming of the Lord is also the going. When he comes, he has come to run you into his presence. Because it is time to go. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, it says in 114. 
at the same time wakati wa huo as soon as this church the bride mara kanisa hili bibi harusi is drawn together linapovutwa pamoja mara linapovutwa pamoja she is taken up linatoaliwa juu and that mystery of the seventh seal na hiyo siri ya muhuri wa saba or the seventh seal au muhuri wa saba or the mystery of going au siri ya kwenda so if he has come here basi kama amekuja he has come the mystery of his coming the mystery of your going if there is anything that is nailing you to this world it is also the ministry of uprooting those things and running you into the presence of the Lord. Amen. And the prophet said some let their wives others let their husbands others let their jobs others let the cares of this world. others let some pastor others let this or let that. so all those this and that the cherubim <laughs> with a flaming sword akona equipment upanga wa moto amen And Cain must have tried to enter Eden. Na lazima Cain alijaribu kuingia Eden. Kujua nini inakuaga huko. Eh aone ai kwa ni. But he could not make it. Hangeweza. Because there are cherubim. Kwa sababu ya yule cherubim. They are very effective. Yaani yule hachelewi kazi yake. And they will be effective in your life. Na hata katika maisha yako hatachelewa. As long as you are a predestinated. Mradi wewe ni mbegu iliyokuzidiwa kimbele. For Jesus say. Maana Yesu alisema. It's better you make it. Ni bora ni bora uwahi. Without an eye. Bila ya jicho or without a leg. Ama bila ya mguu. But you make it. Lakini kuahi uwahi. Hakuna mchezo. No, it's not a joke. Amen. That's right. Amen. And I know this is the testimony of many. Na najua huu ni ushuhuda wa wetu wa wengi. Tumepokea pokea viboko maishani. Huu panga tumeonja onja kidogo. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe sana. So the mystery of his coming. Basi, siri ya kushuka kwake is the mystery of our going. Yo siri ya kwenda kwetu. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. 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 Uh, Amen. 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 What I need. Nukuna ihitaji. Allow me to get it. Acha tuipate. Amen. It says as follows. Anasema hivi. In this seventh seal. Katika huu muri wa saba. In 2:18. Jesus said. Yesu alisema. Pray. Ombeni. Thy kingdom come. Ufalme wako uje. Thy will be done in earth. Mapenzi yako yafanywe ndani ya dunia. As it is in heaven. Yafanywa vya mbinguni. Heaven is brought down to us. Basi. Heaven bingu imeshushwa kwetu. And we are brought up to heaven. Na sisi tumeinuliwa mpaka hiyo heaven. Out of the world condition. Toka kwa hali ya kidunia. This being lives in sitting place in heaven. Huyu kiumbe huyu mtu anatoka makao yake mbinguni. And he brings heaven down to us. Ana anatuteremshia bingu hiyo. He brings his divine presence down to us. Yaani anashusha uwepo wake wa kiungu kwetu. And then we are lifted out of denominationalism. Kisha na sisi tunainuliwa kutoka kwa udhehebu. And we are lifted out of world traditions. Tunainuliwa kutoka kwa tamaduni za kidunia. And we are lifted out of worldly living. Tunatolewa kwa maisha ya kidunia. And we are brought up to heaven. Tunainuliwa kuelekea mbinguni. And we are sitting na tunakaa in heavenly places. Now Sasa. in Christ Jesus. Ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Who? Nani? We who believe this message. Sisi sote tuaminiwe ujumbe huu. To be the truth. Kwa kweli. Hallelujah. Is Jesus Christ. Kwa Yesu Kristo. The son of God. Kwa Mungu. Who is redeeming us. Anayetukomboa. We are in his presence. Tuko uwepo ni mwake. 221 and we sit in heavenly places. Na tunaketi maeneo ya mbinguni. In Christ Jesus. Ndani ya Kristo Yesu. We lifted up. Tumeinuliwa juu. Into the presence. Kufikishwa uwepo. Of our King. Kwa mfalme wetu. Hallelujah. Where we are the queen. Pale ambapo sisi ni malkia. We have been lifted up. Tumeinuliwa juu into the presence of our king. Uweponi mfalme wetu. The kingdom. Ufalme. Glory. Ushukufu. Now I begin to feel religious. Naanza kuhisi wa kidini sana. The kingdom of God. Ufalmeni wa Mungu. Is where they meet together. Ndio wanakutana pamoja. The Holy Spirit. Lift them up in the presence of the king and we sit mpambi. together in heavenly places when we are baptized into Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus that is where we belong happen to your petu amen amen 
You don't belong in the corporate world. Wewe sio wa dunia na shirika na mashirika mengine unayofanyia kazi duniani. Even though you work in the corporate world. Japokuwa unafanya kazi katika mashirika hayo na mfumo huo even if you are a billionaire. Hata kama wewe ni bilionea pesa zako zikihesabiwa ni bilioni na. You don't belong in the billionaires club. Wewe sio club ya billionaires. No. You belong in the kingdom Wewe of God. Wewe pako mahali palipo pako ni ndani ya ufalme wa Mungu. It just so happens you are a billionaire. Inafanyika tu kwamba wewe ni billionaire. There is nothing of this world. Hakuna chochote cha dunia hii that can give you identity. Kinachoweza kukupatia kitambulisho cha kujivunia. Praise the name of Bwana sifiwe sana. Don't identify yourself with anything of this world. Usijivunie, usijitambulishe wewe na chochote cha dunia hii. Just know we are aliens. We, are, we belong to another si kingdom. Sisi ni wa ufalme mwingine. Amen. We may go to their schools, Tujaza drive their cars. Mashule yao tukaendesha magari yao. Work in their offices. Tukafanya kazi maafisini mwao. Amen. But we come from somewhere else. Lakini sisi tunakotoka ni kwingine. And this one who has come down from heaven has come to lift us up into his presence that we may meet with him somewhere and we will be where we belong. That is where we belong. Heavenly places in Christ Jesus the believer's position in Christ being a bride to the bridegroom a pillar in the temple of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 There was a king called Jehoshaphat. Nilikuwa na mfalme, alikuwa anaitwa Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat was a good man. Jehoshaphat alikuwa ni jamaa mzuri. He was a brother. Alikuwa ni brother, ni ndugu. But he had not read another message that says that God's word calls for total separation. Kuna kuna tape fulani ya 64 hapo amesikiza inaitwa God's word calls for total separation. Jaribu kusoma somaga ujumbe. Ya. Yeah. Yafanya mazoea yako kuusoma. Unaweza pata ka ujumbe tu kama mmoja hujawahi soma ndio kameleta hitilafu mingi sana katika. You may just find that it's just one message book ndugu tu. Ndio imekuingiza kwa muhadhara. <laughs> But Jehoshaphat was a good brother. Lakini Jehoshaphat hata hivyo alikuwa ndugu mzuri. And he loved the Lord. Alimpenda bwana. His spirit was very right. Roho wake alikuwa safi. In fact one day moja hata when some kings went to petition Elisha kuna wakati mmoja wafalme fulani walienda kupeleka petition kwa Elisha told them you are very lucky Elisha alikuwa amekasirika akawaambia nyinyi you guys are very lucky na bahati sana mko na ba nyinyi that you have come with Jehoshaphat among you bahati yenu mmekuja na Jehoshaphat if it was not for this Jehoshaphat kama si huyu Jehoshaphat huyu i would have kicked you guys out nyinyi mungeokotwa mbali so Jehoshaphat was a good man. And he loved the Lord and he feared the name of the Lord. And he had revelation. That's why he could have the ability to listen to 400 prophets. Ndio maana alikuwa na uwezo wa napambanu. Anasikiza manabii wanahubiri manabii 1400 wanahubiri. And he's listening to that thing. He knew how to listen to that thing. Alikuwa anajua jinsi ya kusikiza kitu hicho. Na zote ting ting. Yaani zote zinapiga nyekundu 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 Hakuna 401. Yaani 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 unataka uambiwe na lugha gani? Why is number 401 at least? Hakuna mwingine wa ziada. Tujaribu tu. One more. Kuna kengine na hapa hata kajulikanagi ni kanisa gani? Huyo sikwizi atumuitaki kanisa. Hiyo kanisa yao hata tuelewagi ni kanisa gani? Kanisa tuielewangi. Elenda umlete huyo. I bring that. Please I pray the king bring that one. When that one was brought, whatever he said was matching with the message of Elijah. So Jehoshaphat akajua hapa. Jehoshaphat akajua hapa hapa. Ni Mungu tu. Hapa it is only God's grace that will save us. Now Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat huyu was attacked alivamiwa yeye by the kings of Moab and Ammon. Akavamiwa na wafalme wa Ammon and they attacked him from Syria a mighty big Waka, army wakamshambulia jeshi kubwa toka Syria jeshi kubwa and when Jehoshaphat looked at the situation Jehoshaphat alipoangalia hali he knew this one is beyond man akajua hii hii imezidi mwanadamu 
So he told all Israel to fast and to come before the house of the Lord. Together with Sunday school children and their wives, all of you come. One service. And the king led the prayer in front of the house of the Lord. And in that prayer, Jehoshaphat gave us a very important revelation of how to identify the presence of the Lord. For he prayed in verse 183 and said, If when evil cometh upon us, as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house and in thy presence for thy name is in this house. So where the name of the Lord is that is where the presence of the Lord is. How to identify the presence of the Lord is to find out what is God's provided place where he has chosen to place his name. For where he has chosen to place his name that is where the divine presence is. So in the last days, after Luther has played out, Wesley has played out, Pentecost has played out, we will look for where the name of the Lord is. And where the name of the Lord is, that is where the divine presence So when we say the last thing is his divine presence, we can say the last thing is the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And we know the name of the Lord. 185, I saw heaven open. And behold, a white horse, and he that turned upon him was called faithful and true. That is Jesus Christ. And in righteousness, he does judge and make war. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Amen. I wanted to digress and say if you find yourself knowing this name you need to know that you are part of himself. Because no one else knows this name but he himself. Okay, to endele. Yeah. And then he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of God. So Jehoshaphat could have said and we stand in thy presence for thy word is in this house. So where the word is is where the name of God is and that is where the presence of the Lord is. Praise the name of the Lord. The prophet in the first seal talking about the white horse rider. He says in 189, notice, the rider on the white horse don't have any name. He might use two or three titles. But he hasn't got any name. Uh -huh. But Christ has a name. And what is it? The word of God. Which word of God? In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word was made flesh. John 1.1. 1, 1, that is the name of God. Hallelujah. The rider has no name. But Christ is called the word of God. That is what he is. He is called that. 
Now this is a paradox. He is called that. Anaitwa hivyo. Now he's got a name that no man knows. Ana jina ambayo ambalo hakuna anayelijua. But he is called the word of God. Lakini anaitwa neno la Mungu. Now you can see that paradox. Unaona hicho kitendo hiki? He has got a name that no man knows. Ana jina ambalo hakuna anayelijua. But he is called the word of neno la Mungu. Which means maana yake his name really jina lake haswa is the revelation of the word of God. Ni ufunuo wa neno la Mungu because nobody knows. Kwa sababu hakuna anayelijua. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And you remember in the Revelation 2, he that overcame, I will give him a little white stone. And on that white stone, a little name written, that nobody else knows, save he himself, and he that giveth thee, that is the name of God. That little white stone is the part of God that you are. So only God can know his own name. And if you find yourself knowing his name, know that you are part of God. That is why you know his name. And his name is your name. And together as one, husband and wife in the family of God. Amen. 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 Do you love the, God, the word of God? Amen. Amen. I love the word of God. If you are still struggling with the world, uh, I would like to assure you one thing. This feeling right here is he what is you are looking for. It is what you are looking for. The alcohol will never give you. The dancers will never give you this one. No amount of friends and girlfriends and boyfriends can give you this one. But this is what you are looking for. Come into the presence. Hallelujah. Amen. So the name of the Lord declares the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 Then in God's chosen place of worship, he comes and says, 193, now the same is today. There is only one place that spiritual death cannot strike. And that is the word. Death cannot strike the word. Because it is the living word of God. But you put creeds with it. The word moves out to itself. It will separate like water from oil. You cannot mix it together. Therefore you see. When the creed comes into a denomination. They all go after the creed. The word dies out and goes on with somebody else and increases it more. So when he brings, hold the quote, when he brings Luther and they try to introduce a creed, the word dies to Luther and goes on with somebody else called Wesley. And when it lands in Wesley, the word has increased some more. The name has increased some more. Amen. And then they try to introduce creeds to, to the name of the Lord. But the prophet has said it's like water and oil. So immediately you introduce a creed, the word separates itself. So the name of the Lord moves and goes on with somebody else called Pentecost. But when the name lands in Pentecost, it is not the same way it left Wesley. It has increased it more. So the name has increased a little bit. Uh -huh. Then he says as follows. Uh -huh. Amen. It picks up the momentum. Yeah, it keeps, this is the name of the Lord. We are tracking the name of the Lord. The name keeps picking up momentum. As it goes from justification, sanctification, baptism of the Holy Ghost, and on out into the grave. The grain is the word. John 1.1. Hallelujah. Then he asks us, do you see the path God has trod? Bringing his name all the time right down the same way because he is the one. Remember, King Jehoshaphat has told us that the presence of the Lord 
is where the name of the Lord is. And if he has been bringing his name from justification, increasing to sanctification, increasing to Pentecostal restoration of gifts, and then now into the complete, then we say, we have the complete name of the Lord. Because he has been bringing his name and now he has brought his name in the fullness. Praise the name of the Lord. He has brought his name and that name is the word. Are you happy to receive the name of the Lord? By a show of hands, are you happy? We have received the name of the Lord. This one cannot die. It is called the word of life and it can never die. Only believers have the name of the Lord. You are the only one who has the name of the Lord. They can go to Nyao Stadium. They can go forever. They can pray for a revival. And say Kenya is the springboard of revival. And pray and pray. But only the believer has the name of the Lord. Because the name of the Lord is a divine revelation of the word of God. And God has only one way of interpreting his word. That is through the prophet. So if you have received the word from the prophet, and the Holy Spirit being the only divine interpreter of the word that he wrote himself, Amen. That's right. Amen. So if the name of the Lord is the divine interpretation of the word, then only the bride has the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 So as you take a bus to go to Kilifi to buy holy water, because you are sick, and I know believers are doing this, and others are going to crusades in Nakuru, for healing, healing. For healing. You have not sinned, and if you get healed, it's okay. But you don't know where the name of the Lord is. Right. Amen. That's right. One ninety-nine. Amen. Jesus' his name on earth was Redeemer. When he was on earth, he was the Redeemer. That is true. But when he conquered death and hell and overcame them and ascended on high, he received a new name. That's the reason you holler the way they do and they don't get nothing. That name, it will be revealed in the thunders. thunders. The name of the Lord will be revealed in the thunders. The all powerful name of the Lord will be revealed in the thunders. The name of the Lord will be revealed in the seventh seal. In the mystery. There has got to be something to change this church. There has got to Amen. be something. Praise the name of the Lord. The problem with me, preacher, I have not fully recognized the presence of the Lord here with me. I have not recognized the name of the Lord in the camp of the bride. I have not fully recognized the shout of the king among us as the end time bride. That's right. Amen. But there is a promise that this name will be revealed in the thunders. So if you have received the thunders and you have believed the thunders, Amen. It is time 
to recognize his presence kutambua uwepo wake kuwepo kwake to recognize his divine presence kutambua kuwepo kwake kwa kiungu among us miongoni mwetu that it may unleash its power tutambue uwepo wake ili uwepo huo uachilie nguvu zake god does not act mungu hatendi until you recognize him mpaka umtambue praise the name of the lord wanasifiwe When Jesus walked with Cleopas and his friend, Yesu alipotembea na Cleopas na rafiki ye, he was just a man. Alikuwa ni mtu tu. Immediately in the evening they recognized his presence. Mara jioni walipoutambua uwepo wake hivi, the supernatural started. Uungu ulianza mara moja. He started going through walls without Ali, Alianza kapenya kwa ukuta akaenda, akabadilika kuwa mwanadamu tu. So if you want to trigger the supernatural, kama unatafuta switch ya uungu in the presence of the Lord. Uwepo ni mwabwana. You start by recognizing and believing in the divine presence of Jesus Christ being with us here now. Unaanza kwa kutambua na kuamini uwepo wa Mungu mwenyewe ukiwa pamoja na sisi. And the work of the gate of hell is to stop you from recognizing the divine presence of the Lord being with us na here now. Na malango ya jehanamu ni kukuzuia wewe usitambue kuwepo kwa Kristo hapa na sisi sasa. And unless you come to that recognition. Na usipofikia utambuzi huo will never unleash the power uwepo huo hautawachilia nguvu zake amen that's right hallelujah yes that's right listen to 278 amen when he is not recognized asipotambuliwa his power is always not revealed nguvu yake nayo inakuwa haifunuliwi amen that's right So if you still think kama bado wadhani you are a mukamba wewe ni mkamba ama mukisi ama mluya whatever you are mluya ama chochote kile and you still think you are the son or daughter una ungali unajidhania wewe ni mwana ama binti ya fulani of your athlete ancestors kwa baba zako na babu zako wa kidunia you have not recognized what this message has done hujatambua kile ujumbe huu umefanya bado lifting you up from the cosmos kukuinua kutoka kwa hali hii ya dunia na mazingira yake raising you into heavenly places na kukupandisha juu mpaka maeneo ya mbinguni and sitting you in the very presence na kukuketisha katika uwepo mwenyewe of Jehovah wa the Jehovah, creator of heaven Mungu wa mbingu na enchi unless you believe it usipoamini hilo unless you accept it usipokubali hilo no matter your circumstances hata hali yako iweje you must look at the unseen lazima utazame kisichoonekana by faith kwa imani and you must ignore what is seen na lazima upuuze yanayoonekana amen that's right then you come to a recognition hapo unafikia utambuzi amen at no matter how much god is standing present ati haijalishi ni kiasi gani mungu amesimama hapa you've got to believe it lazima wewe uamini before he can act kabla hajatenda amen praise the name of the lord bwana sifiwe sana you will run around run around looking for help huku utakimbia kule kutafuta msaada huku na kule Believing that you're not spiritual enough ukijidhania ai mimi kiroho changu hakijatosha believing you don't qualify mimi sifai sitoshi that you're not holy enough mimi si mtakatifu kutosha you're not a believer enough mimi si believer kutosha he is just standing there amesimama tu pale he is wishing ana laiti laiti tu laiti mwanangu i wish just recognize my presence i wish tu ungetambua niko hapa then you see the miracle utaiona miujiza unayotafuta amen so that Alleluia. i can unleash the supernatural in your life ili niwachilie nguvu zangu katika maisha yako believe in Amin. my divine presence amini uwepo wangu wa kiungu uko hapa na wewe that the seven seals are broken kama mihuri zangu imeshafungwa it brought down the lord ili leta bwana mwenyewe ikamfusha ili here among his church hapa miongoni mwa kanisa ready to do the supernatural uko ya kiungu haleluya ready to address any situation in your life hali yoyote ile maisha ni mwako yoyote amen That's ready right. to deal with our family life tayari yengi maisha yetu mabomba imetusumbua atatue 
ready to live to deal with our life source of livelihoods aingie katika kutafuta kwetu kuna utafutaji wa riziki atatue huko ready to bring in our children tayari aingilie watoto wetu ama nasiwe ready to bring in our parents alete na wazazi wetu ready to bring in that friend you love ako tayari alete yule rafiki yako umpendaye sana because everything you love must be put there for you alishahidi kwamba chochoto kipendacho lazima uwekebe kuna kupate ready to start doing all those things ako tayari kuanza in your life katika maisha yako but you must recognize his presence utambue uwepo wake Hallelujah. His power cannot be revealed. When his presence is unrecognized. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And you see, when you see preachers standing here, they are only doing one thing. To eat. That always remember. What we are here for is to try to increase your faith in his presence ni kujaribu kuongeza imani yako kwa uwepo wake we want to increase your faith tunataribu tunajaribu kuinua imani yako eh believe us we are not here to bring him down hatuko hapa kumleta no we are not here to bring his presence hatuko hapa kuleta uwepo wake he is already here safika amen We are just preaching the word to try and increase your faith kuongeza kuinua imani yako in his presence katika uwepo wake so that you stop running around ili uache kuranda randa huku na so that you might receive ili uweze kupokea that which you ask for kile unachoomba amen amen hallelujah hallelujah so anything you are asking for chochote unachokiomba He's standing there with it like Amesimama hapo nacho na amekibeba. Hakusahau mbinguni ako nacho. Yes. Because we know the prophet says that the desires you have shauku ulizonazo are not yours. Si zako. Somebody put them in there for you. Ni mtu aliweka shauku hiyo ndani yako hapo. So before he put Boy, your kabla before he put a desire hajaweka kiu if my brother here desires this bible. Kama ndugu yangu hapa anatamani biblia hii It is impossible for that desire to come here before this bible is here. Amen. The object of the desire must be there first. And then later you catch a desire for it. Anything you desire. And you are a believer. Remember that is not you. That is an indication that that thing is there for you. He is waiting for you to recognize his presence. And then you might receive that which you ask for. It was there. It was there. It was there. Receive your healing. It was always here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you pick up a message book to read, ukichukua kitabu cha ujumbe unasoma. You are trying to increase your faith in his presence. Unajaribu kuongeza imani yako kuinua kuamini uwepo wake. When you play a tape in your car, unapocheza kanda kwenye gari lako. In a morning traffic jam. Asubuhi kwenye jam. When others are complaining of traffic jam. Wengine wanapiga kelele at jam ni nyingi. You are just enjoying the traffic jam. Wewe unafurahia traffic jam sikae. Because you are increasing your faith. Unaongeza imani yako in the presence uwepo of the Lord. Bwana, praise the name of the Lord. Growing your faith in his presence. And the more you recognize his presence, the more you unlock his power. The more you unlock the supernatural. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If we could only do that tonight 282 if we could only realize that he is appearing to us in these meetings for one purpose is to release our desires praise the name of the lord to release our desires that we have in him to us so he is carrying them na ni wewe ulikuwa umebebewa lakini sasa umembebesha for a long time hausomagi ujumbe anachoka amebeba all your desires wewe nikulia tu Mungu nipe hii Mungu umenisahau oh, oh. amezibeba hivi all your desires he's carrying all your desires you're just crying not recognizing his presence he wants you anakutaka tu 
to increase your faith in his presence until you, until you realize ah, you're here uko hapa and i can see you are carrying my family na umebeba jamii yangu I can see you are carrying hey. my success of my business. Na biashara yangu na fanaka zake umebeba pia. I can see you are carrying the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Kwa hiyo kikapu chako kuna ubatizo wangu wa Roho Mtakatifu. I can see you are carrying the house I have been desiring to build. Na nyumba ambayo nimeomba ai ai kumbe iko hapa ndani. The basket is full. Kikapu kimejaa. What was I doing? Nilikuwa nafanya nini? Praise the name of the Lord. Read the word. Read the Bible. Read the message. Listen to the message. Come to church. Pray every day. Increase your faith in his presence. Amen. Amen. How to re- you recognize his presence? Na sasa jinsi unavyoutambua uwepo wake. Is when eh? the promised word for this age. Wakati. Neno na kuna hali fake linadhihirishwa. Not the promised word of Moses age. Sio neno la kizazi. Or any other of the age. Hapo neno la hadi la watu. Promise of the word for this age. Hadi ya neno la hiki kizazi. When it is vindicated. Likithibitishwa. Manifested. Likithirishwa. Produced to you. Likithirishwa kwa. And you believe it. Na unaliamini. Then you are increasing your faith in his presence whatever you have need of that why he said when you go to pray anything you pray for just walk from there believing you have already received because you are in his presence praise the name of the lord are we in the last days are we in the last days we are in the last days are we in the middle of the last thing tuko ndani katikati ya kitu cha mwisho that is it but the last thing kitu cha mwisho ni nini is his divine presence uwepo wake wa kiungu praise the name of the lord may the lord bless you so much hallelujah amen 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 hallelujah one day sister mida decided to go look for her husband after he had been away from home for so long and when she arrived to the city where they had the meetings she looked around and saw all the people who had come to listen to this man and sister mida knew this one that they are listening to cannot be Branham the son of Charles and Ella This is not Billy my husband that they have come to listen to and she broke into a song and she said they come from the east and west they come from the lands afar what have they come to do they have come to feast with the king in the presence of the king they have come to die as the guests of the king blessed this pilgrims hallelujah as we invite the pastor amen. they come amen. from the east amen. and west amen. they come from the east and west they come from the lands of oh to be with the king to dine as his guests how blessed this pilgrims are Beholding his hallowed face, oh, a glow in light divine, oh, blessed partakers of his grace, as gem in his crown of shine. Oh, since Jesus has set me free, I'll love me as I can be. I bear the burden of care His yoke is so sweet to me And my soul was as black as night But darkness has taken light Oh, now I shall get victory For Jesus has set me I look on the great white throne Oh, before in the ransom stand I'm no longer a tears No sorrow is good No death in that golden 
land, and my Savior has gone before, preparing the way for me. So no man to part no more through terror eternity. Hallelujah! Since Jesus has set me free, Amen. I'm happy as night can be. No longer I bear the burden of care. His yoke is so sweet to me. Hallelujah. I so was as black as night. Oh, but darkness has taken flight. Now I shout the victory. Oh, Jesus has been Oh, God, the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One as your son. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Walk with me through the darkness and I'll talk with you. That's right. Oh, since the day that I have been well, I long to walk with you. That's right. Oh, to have fellowship divine, it pleases me. Oh, for the day, so the plan is over, now you can walk Hallelujah. with me. Amen. Oh, walk with me through the forest. And I'll talk with you. That's right. See the day that I am fair. I've longed to walk with you. To have fellowship. Oh, to, to have, have fellowship, fellowship again. Oh. It pleases me. People talking about everything. Their words about war, war and peace, and war living. But when all is said and done, I know my way.
he did in the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. In the evening times, he would come down and walk with Adam. Once more, he has come down. He just wants to walk with you. He just, he just wants some fellowship with you. Hallelujah. Amen. What a wonderful, wonderful God speaking to us this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know whether you know this one for 473, you know it? Naombi moyo ni mwangu. Drumi niara 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 bless and Lord to the cross where thou hast died. Amen. Drumi niara 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 I raise my hands unto you. I open my heart with only one desire. The Lord Jesus Christ may hold my hand. 
Nasa mkono wangu. And walk with me. Tembea nami. I realize Jesus Christ. Natambua bwana Yesu. Is a dangerous time. Ni wakati nyakati And the prophet spoke of this time. Nabii alinena kuhusu nyakati. And they said how dangerous it will be. Akasema itakuwa ni nyakati za hatari mno. Heavenly Father. Na baba sa mbinguni. You have come down. Wewe umeshuka chini. You are called the word of God. Ume unaitwa neno la Mungu. You recognize you. Bwana nikutambue. But I raise my hand. Nainua mkono wangu. As a sister. Kama dada. As a brother. Kama ndugu. First of all to thank you that you have refilled yourself as a mighty God the everlasting Father oh how I thank you that I know you oh Jesus Christ as the poet sang and said oh that I may know him and look upon his face we can say we have known him and we have looked unto him as Paul pointed to this day and he said in that day we shall know him even as we are known help me Lord Jesus never to trust in myself but always Jesus Christ to walk in your presence to walk with you to be close to thee we thank you Jesus Christ we are a people in this world with many challenges of life but one great thing that has happened is that deep down in our hearts we know you spoke to us we heard the voice of God and you have drawn us to yourself and we have one desire Lord to walk with you to overcome in this age to live in your presence grant it unto each one of us and if there is anyone sick anyone having challenges anyone having this or that issue may we know heavenly father you have given us the answer and the answer is Come walk with me. As long as we walk with you, we shall overcome. Grant it unto us. Give us a willing heart, a broken spirit to surrender our hearts, to surrender our minds, to surrender ourselves, and to say, Lord, hold my hand. Precious Lord, lead me and guide me is our prayer. In Jesus' name. If you are here and you have never allowed him to hold your hand to hold your hand and lead you into true repentance where you can turn around in your heart and say Lord I'm just coming as I am like the prodigal son I come to my, to my mind and I realize I need you. If you are here and you would just want to say just as I am I am coming to the Lord Jesus and then after he, you repent of your sins you say I will walk with him in baptism in water in the name of Jesus Christ and I know one thing Jesus never fails. He will not fail. He will give me himself in my heart the Holy Spirit and you possess my heart you possess my mind you possess my soul grant it Father if there is any like that give them the courage to forsake the world to walk unto you as we pray in Jesus name if you are here and you have that desire as we sing this song would you just come forward and we shall pray together it's me, it's me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Again, once more the chorus. Oh, it's me, yes, Lord, it's me, O Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Oh, it's me, yes, Oh, it's me, O Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Not my mother, not my father, but it's me, O Lord. Well, I'm standing in the need of yes, prayer. Oh, it's not my me. mother, not my father, but it's me, O Lord. Yes, I'm standing in the need of prayer. Oh, it's me, oh, it's me, it's yes, me, O Lord. It's me, o Lord. I'm standing in the need of prayer. It's me, oh, yeah. it's me, oh Lord, I'm standing in the need of prayer. It's not my brother.
not my sister, but it's me, O oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer is not my brother, not my sister, but it's me, O oh Lord. I am standing in the need of prayer. Oh, it's me. Oh, it's me. Yes, it's me, O oh Lord. I am standing in the need of prayer. Amen. This morning, the sermon was for me. I will not push it to anybody. I will receive it in my heart because it's mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother, brother, many, please just help me. Hallelujah. It's yes, me. And I want to take it wholeheartedly. And I want to walk with him. I want to talk with him. In every situation. I want to know he is the one walking with me. And then if I walk with him. Victory is mine. Hallelujah. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan. Stand up and we shout. We pray for the sister and also pray for you. Amen. Okay. Our oh, precious Heavenly Father, we are, so we are so thankful because of your goodness. We are thankful to know that you are here, Lord. Thank you for the word. Thank you because you are here with us, Lord. And thank you for breaking it in such a way this morning. We stand on our feet now, Lord. In recognition of your presence, Lord. You are here. Not because we say you are here. But because your word is here. Heavenly Father. We can bank on that. We can put our feet on that Lord. So Lord Jesus Christ we rise on our feet. Having needs in our hearts loving Jesus. And praying Father that God you may meet us Lord. At the point of each of our needs oh Lord. Heavenly Father. Show yourself strong Lord Jesus. By granting us faith Lord. In your presence Lord. And then you can release your power. Heavenly Father our precious sister. She comes before you loving Jesus Christ with her needs. She is tormented with thoughts in her mind. Heavenly Father, and she knows that you are the only refuge there is. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you may touch her. And Heavenly Father, you may clear her mind, Jehovah. You have determined, Lord, that the mind is the womb of the Spirit. It is your, your gateway into the soul. Heavenly Father, may you clear her mind, Heavenly Father, so that you can have an entryway into her soul. Her brother is also sick, Lord Jesus Christ. She is admitted in hospital. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you may stretch forth your healing hand and loving Jesus Christ because you are the word and you sent your word and it healed the diseases. God may you stretch forth Lord and heal him Lord Jesus Christ to the glory of your name. Take care of our every need Heavenly Father. We don't have to enumerate the needs. You know all of them Lord. So help us loving Jesus to the glory of your name. For we pray believing and trusting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Jesus in
touched by the feeling of your infirmities. He knows your needs even before you pray. He has seen the weak hand and he knows every situation you'll go through and he goes ahead of you. What a wonderful savior. What a wonderful friend. We are happy to welcome our visitors this morning. To appreciate each one of them uh, for coming to worship with us as we pilgrim in this pilgrimage. So if you are a visitor with us, if you don't mind, sir or lady, sister, brother, would you just would you just stand up and we appreciate you? First? And together with them as they stand, we have our precious brother. Brother Fred Sosaya. Oh, God Sosaya. bless you, sister. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, have you never grown old? Brother Fred, God bless you. Brother Fred was one of our Sunday school teachers. God bless you, sister. God bless you, brother. Really appreciate you worshiping with us, pilgriming with us, and we, we pray by God's grace. One day when all of this life is over, we shall spend time together in the eternity. Amen. I was reading something that uh, a, certain, uh, a certain husband and wife, one died, and before they died, uh, the other one told them, when you go up there, because you are Christian, please come back as soon as possible and let me know you are alive. And they stayed, and they stayed, and they stayed, and took too long before they would ever come back to confirm that they are alive. And after many, a long time, uh, uh, the spouse came and said, I actually arrived. And he said, but what? What took you too long? You have been there all this time, and I have been waiting for you to come and confirm. And they said, they have just finished the chorus of, of only, of the, 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 you know, they have just finished the chorus of amazing grace. I didn't even know I took wrong. <laughs> because when we go up there, time has no meaning. Ah, oh, Amen. Amen. I want to be there. God help me. May the grace of God be upon me. Be there. We have precious brothers. I've said, brother, greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Happy to worship with you today. After many years, I bring greetings from my family and some saints in the U.S. That's Brother Fred Sosaya. I have made him stand. Brother Fred has walked with us, has worked with us, was our Sunday school teacher here. And certainly we miss you, brother. And uh, we might find uh, a way uh, to, to pull all the diaspora, those are in diaspora back. Because we appreciate you, we love you. But anyway, be a testimony where you are. We are happy the Lord has helped you to stand for him. All these years. And then we have our precious brother, uh, uh, brother Mushemi. Brother Mushemi. Uh, Sammy, brother Sammy Mushemi. Uh, he tells us that. I jumped to connect with that. God bless you, saints. I wish to convey my heartfelt gratitude to, for your love, warmth, and fellowship. Over the years, I have been in CFM fellowship. Special thanks to Pastor Kamwati, who has been a guiding light to my family and uh, throughout our sojourn. 
I am humbled and grateful that God has opened doors for me and I've been relocating abroad permanently. I confess your prayers for journey masses as well as God's favor as I start life in a new land as our precious brother, Sami Muchemi. Brother Muchemi, I think you made a mistake. Brother Sam, please stand. Brother Sam, God bless you. As you stand. He's saying, who has been a great delight to my family and through my sojourn. You don't have a family, brother. The Mushemis. <laughs> that is Mushemis family. <laughs> we are waiting for you to have your own family. <laughs> we love you. We will miss you, precious brother. He's, a, he's been a wonderful, wonderful brother since he came over to Nairobi from uh, uh, Narumoro area, where his dad is a pastor, one of our precious pastors, and he has several sisters here. Are they all married? Okay, it's okay, it's okay, that's a joke. And he has, I think he has seven or eight sisters, and uh, most of them are here, some are in Kikuyu, some are in Tepa, a wonderful, wonderful family that has really served the Lord Jesus. Amen. Rather take our greetings to the saints out here. I'm glad you are going to be with the believers. It's very challenging out there, as I told you this morning. Kule nje pia kuna changamoto zake. Very, very challenging. Changamoto zipo. You need to walk with him. Lakini bwana atembea nawe. You need to recognize his presence. Tambua uwepo wake atembea naye. Amina. Amen. We shall have a dedication of Emalad Karen and Christo Elo, but just after I finish the announcement from the church office, we have a career talk. God bless you, saints. We are announcing 2023-2024. Is it from four leavers? College going. For, for, four leavers and first to fourth year university college students career talk. The event will take place at the church office on Edfitri holiday on Wednesday. Or oh, that's the, this week. I think it's Wednesday. Has it been announced? The actual date of the Muslim, uh, it's either Wednesday or Thursday this week. So whichever day it is, we <laughs> shall... <laughs> that's the, this week, April 24th. Now, we had a wonderful, wonderful talk uh, in Ruaraka, Dika Road, with Brother Mwendoa over Easter on... Uh, on the issue of mental health. Na mikutano mizuri sana kuhusu mambo ya and the issue health. of handling money. Jinzi ya ku, I would like you pesa. to listen to it. Uh, it mtandao. was very, very helpful. Na yalikuwa mazungumuzo mazuri sana. And you find that all the challenges we have even in our faith. Utapata hata changamoto nazo katika imani. As we shall see the Lord helping us sometime. Mungu wa kitusaidia tutaona. As we have heard this morning. Kama tulivyo sikia subia leo. Our faith is sure. Imani yetu ni hakika. But we have challenges around us. Lakini tuna changamoto. But we have overcome us. Lakini nyinyi ni washindi. Hallelujah. Amina. Amina. So if you can just listen to that and we shall have that career talk uh, on uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Those intending to attend kindly lie us with Brother Timothy Kisiangani. Brother Kisiangani, please would you stand if you don't mind, sir? Brother Kisiangani, that's our precious Brother Kisiangani. Uh, if you don't mind, sir, just come here because the right there is is brarring your face. Just stand here and around so the brothers can see you. That's Brother Kisiangani, our precious brother. Just lie us with him and, uh, and uh, we'll make arrangements of how to have you. It is a free lunch. Uh, registration link will also be shared in the different forums. Can register by Tuesday, 9th April. Lunch will be served free of church. So please come. We can just have lunch if nothing else and we shall have a career talk. We are in this world Tuko hapa katika ulimwengu huu. as we wait for the coming of the Lord. I know sometimes some believers say, hii mambo ya ulimwengu eh, ni mambo ya ulimwengu lakini tuko ulimwenguni. <laughs> Uh, and we need to know how to handle ourselves in different situations of life from a Christian point of view. So we don't just approach it for career, 
as you have heard here even if I am a corporate in the corporate a CEO or just a messenger I am here for a purpose and my purpose is the, the message so I need to understand myself and know how I should handle myself in whichever situation Amen. The, we have our annual general meeting on the 21st of April. I should have announced this last Sunday and uh, on the 21st of, uh, of, uh, of April, uh, which is uh, two Sundays from today. I mean, we just jump one Sunday, the next Sunday. Every year, Kila we mwaka. meet to look at the business of the church, the different situations, uh, to, to look whether we shall have to renew them, the, 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 the offices of the officers, deacons, trustees, song leaders, etc. So please let us pray for that meeting. On the 21st, I would really kindly request you to come with a snack. But let us just come with a snack. Uh, if we can, I will see whether we can afford a snack also uh, for, the, for, the, for the church, if, if, we, if, if the trustees will allow me, and if it will be possible. The date is 21st. That is not the coming Sunday, but the other Sunday. For the Sunday school, God bless you, saints. We are excited to inform you that the Strong Foundation's children have completed and returned the quizzes for March. We have printed the results and, and hung them outside their classrooms. We shall have a desk outside the classrooms to handle questions on young foundations accounts. Please pass by to encourage the teachers. Please pass by the Sunday school class and let us encourage the teachers. Let us read what they have done. Then there is Thanksgiving. God bless you, saints. We would like to express our sincere gratitude for the support you gave us during the demise of our beloved dad. Special thanks goes to our precious pastor, Obadiah Kamwati, for the support and words of comfort, the deacons and saints who spared their precious time to come all the way to Moala to stand with me. Thank you for praying for me and my family. May our God, may our good Lord bless each one of you in a special way. My prayer request is that you pray for me for total healing and acceptance in Jesus, Jesus' name. That our precious sister Cecilia, who is also one of our Sunday school teachers, and sister, the Lord will give you the healing. Uh, he's the only one who can. Amen. It's usually a very difficult situation That's true. when your loved one leaves you because death was never supposed to be. God bless you, saints. We thank God for answering the saints' prayers. My friend's brain surgery was successful, and the tumor is no more perfectly healed and at home. Should we give the Lord Jesus a crown? Can you remember my brother Nelson, who is due to undergo an eye surgery this coming week? We believe that the prayers of the saints are very much. That's our precious brother Colin, and he says, Shalom. God bless you, saints. We thank God for his love as we celebrate our 22nd wedding and firstly, that's our precious brother and sister, Lucky Malelu. Could you stand the couple, please? Ah, there they are. Inawezekana mwaka moja pili tatu tano sita saba nane kumi. Na inaendelea tu mpaka kumina moja, kumina tano, kumina saba, paka unagonga 22 years. With the same sister, with the same brother. So inawezekana wandugu. Let us not just talk you know, negatively about the marriage institution. You know, kind of God bless you. Congratulations. Amen. May God really keep you. Appreciate you. Love you. Amen. Amen. Mm. Praise the Lord. We have prayer requests. Uh, God bless you, saints. I wish to convey my heartfelt gratitude for your love. Warm the f oh, so that one I led is Brother Moshemi. Requesting for prayers. He's traveling over to the U.S. If you want to relocate to the U.S., to Canada, uh, around October, 
I think October from September, there is a lottery they do. And somebody asked me, is it wrong to do that lottery? Uh, is, there is nothing wrong with doing that lottery. Is the American government's way of uh, getting people from around the world to settle. But once you get wherever you will go, Australia, Canada, UK, Sweden, Finland, New Zealand, you will actually come to realize there is no better country than Kenya. <laughs> Kenya is Kenya. almost, it's not really heaven, si but it's ikukaribu <laughs> kidogo. Kenya is a beautiful country. I can prove to you that most of the ambassadors who have come to work in Kenya from the Americas, at least two, and others from other countries, they refuse to leave Kenya. Because they have never seen a country with such a beautiful weather, beautiful people, beautiful people. Can you remember me in prayer for a personal need that I have as well as a personal situation I'm going through that the Lord may provide the way that Brother Joshua Munguti. And we have the birthdays of Noel and Kareb Oduo. Steve, that's the end of the announcements. Uh, we entered this hall on the 31st of December. Of December. We had to do a crash program in the construction. We started the construction in August. And within four months, we had entered here. I do know for sure there are a few challenges here and there. And, uh, and uh, please understand and we shall continue collecting anything that comes up. Never allow it to be a point of challenge. Uh, so uh, I'm not justifying. <laughs> we have a view. We have a view corrections we are doing on the roof. Uh, here and there it might take us a month. We are trying to do it as thoroughly as we are able to. I also want to appreciate very, very much uh, a certain brother or sister who donated the rights and uh, they were anonymous but the Lord saw it and the Lord will reward you openly because that's his promise he never fails that's why we sing Jesus never. oh no 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 we shall not sing God bless you appreciate you I think we shall go to prayer to pray for the for the needs, brother, many prayed, and uh, we appreciate that. Mahitaji ndugu many amesha ombea tutakuwa na hiyo birthday, halafu dedication. We shall sing birthday and then we shall do dedication. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. May you find Jesus near every day of the year. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. And the best year you ever had. Amen. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. May you find Jesus near every day of the year. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you, and the best year you've ever had. It's now my honor to dedicate the babies. Bring them in, bring them in, bring them in from the fields of sin. Amen. Bring them in, oh, bring them in, oh, bring the little ones to Jesus. Amen. Bring them in, oh, bring them in. the fields of sin, bring them in, bring them in, bring the wandering ones to Jesus.
precious Heavenly Father, this young Emirate, and our precious, his precious brother, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I lay my hands on them. Looking at them, I want to thank you, great Jehovah, because I can see your hand has been upon them. And I pray, great one, that your hand will continue to be upon them, to keep them, to protect them, to deliver them from all the snares of the enemy. And precious Heavenly Father, by your grace, when they come of age, may you draw them to yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for the parents that by your mercy you will provide for them above all the wisdom they need to create an atmosphere that these children will be drawn to you. I commit them in your hands. Pray also the needs of this life you may provide for the parents. Commit them unto thee in Jesus' name. I think we are done. Unless you want us to go to worship. Some, some two ladies, uh, they are not part of our church, but they have come into our church for a while. And they asked me, when you finish the service, why can't you now go to Kirosho? Uh, <laughs> but we, Kirosho sana. It's only that our way of Kirosho, Kirosho is worship. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not he, he, he. You know, you have a connection in your heart with Jesus Christ. Amina. When you sing that song, you are appreciating the Lord Jesus. You are thanking him in your heart for his mercy Amen. and his grace. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate each one of you coming to the service this morning. I want to pray that the Lord Jesus will establish you and prosper you in the faith above everything else. And all the things that you have to go through, God has allowed it for a purpose. Remember what you have heard today. He cares. He watches over you. He knows you by name. There is nothing that happens to you that what he has allowed. And it, one day you will just thank God because you know all worked out for your good. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your mercy upon our lives that one day we had the voice tearing me deep down my heart. Make the Lord God your choice. And by your mercy, you made us know who he is. And when we took thy word, we knew that we are standing with you. Be with us, Lord, and as we continue in this battle, there are so many things that are happening around, but our joy is to know we are in your hands. May your hand be upon each one of these, your children. Those who travel, be with them. Those who have different needs, be with them. Those who are unwell, touch them and heal them. Those who are going for surgery, may you, the great surgeon, the great physician, May you, Lord Jesus, be there for them. Commit every situation in your hands. The challenges of our lives. May they be opportunities for us to exercise our faith. Commit all unto you. Dismiss us now with your blessings as we ask it in Jesus' name. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with, with us, us now, now and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. 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 Brother Fred, may God be with you. Certainly I will shake sir. your hand and maybe pass our love as you go. Amen. Uh, Brother Muchemi, Sami, may God be with you. May, you keep, may he give you traveling masses. And uh, you will find that that fright is extreme. But you are young, man. It's, I think it will be about 14, 15 hours just in the air until you don't li remember anymore you are in the air. It's a bit frustrating. And each one of you who is traveling here and there, may God be with you. May God grant you traveling masses. And may God provide for you in every situation. For our children who are in holiday, uh, I'm rising with uh, one of my brothers here. 
uh, to see whether you can get grass to plant uh, before you go back to school. If, if, we, if it works out, I would like us to plant some grass here and some, uh, because it's a raining season and somewhere we, we can bask and uh, rest after the service. After the service, this place is yours. You can walk around, you can fellowship. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, you know, just get time to fellowship, know one another, know that brother, know that sister, uh, uh, encourage that brother, encourage that sister as you pilgrim in this life. Amen. Friends, we need one another. We need one another. another. Praise the Lord. Do you know this song as I grow? Grow old. But anyway, just give us your song. That's okay. God bless you. God be with you. Oh, yeah. We shall sing, I'm free. I wanted to see, there's a song I love, but now uh, on, the, on the music, I really want to recruit more of you, those who can play instruments and those who have a voice. And there is a brother I want to shake his hand after the service if he's in. If he's not in and he hears me, please, brother, call me. I would also try to call him. That's brother Gitao. Uh, I really appreciate if you could call me. I need to see you. And uh, God be with you. For so long I have searched for life's meaning. Oh, as late. By the world and Hallelujah. Just, just a second, just a second. We have drinking water. Drinking water. Uh, the decals will show you, but we have one point there. And we have another point behind the hall. Is it behind this way or behind this way? Behind this way. I thought this is front. We have another drinking point of water here. This is good water. Please don't drink the water from the taps. It's not good. But we have provided drinking water. One in front. Uh, I say in front. But it's just out there. And another one there at the Sunday school. So during the service or even after the service, when you need to drink water, we just feel welcome. Remember, our drinking water is actually just as good as the bottled water. Uh, it's only that uh, people need to make some money. And uh, it's okay. God bless you. For so long. I have searched for life's meaning oh, and slain by the world and my grief. Oh, then the door of my prison was broken by love, for the ransom was paid, I am free. Praise the Lord, I am free from the fears of tomorrow. Amen. Oh, I'm free from the guilt of my past. Oh, I've traded my shackles for a glorious song. I'm free. Praise the Lord, free at last. Now I'm free from the guilt that I carry. From the dark, empty life, I am free. Amen. For when I met Jesus, He made me complete. He forgot the foolish child I used to be. Thank God I am free from the fears of tomorrow. Oh, I'm free from the guilt of my past. Oh, I've traded my shackles. For a glorious soul, I'm free, praise the Lord, free at last. Let's take it a key higher. 
Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day, day I will never forget. Oh, after I've wandered in darkness away, oh, Jesus my Savior, amen. Oh, and oh, what a tender, compassionate friend. He met the needs of my heart All my shadows dispelling With joy I am telling He made all the darkness in my Praise God Heavens came down And glory filled my soul Amen And when I dark cross My Savior made me Washed away, and my night was done today. Oh, heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Now I am born of the Spirit with life from above into God's family divine. I am justified fully through Calvary's love. Oh, what a standing is mine. Oh, and, and the transaction so quickly was made. When I was a sinner, I came. Oh, it took up the offer of grace in it over. He saved me, oh, praise his dear name. Praise God, heavens came down and glory filled my soul. Amen. And when I got cross, my Savior made me whole. Praise the Lord, my sins washed away. Yes, and my night was done today. Thank God, yes. Heaven's kept down and glory filled my soul. And now I have hope that I will surely endure. After the passing of time, I know I have a future in heaven for sure. There in the mind, and it's because of a wonderful day. When at the cross I believe, all is riches eternal and blessings and all from his precious hand I receive. Oh, heavens came down and glory filled my soul. Amen. When I the cross, my Savior made me all. Oh, my sins were washed away. And my night was turned to day. Hallelujah. And glory fill my soul. Take it a key higher.